Okay. <clears throat> Love that. Okay. All right, it says. No, I don't hear. I don't hear anything. So, okay. I don't want to hear people tell me. I don't want to hear me people tell. You know what? Fuck literally everything. Wait, no, I can't, yes. Maddie. I can't hear us. I hear us again. <laughs> oh my god, I hear Todd say everything. Repeat. Hold on. Well, now people are in here saying hello. Hi, Dino Christ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll do that yeah i think i might be. maddie 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 why don't you discord why don't you mute all of us yes you can no, you can mute everybody. Oh, if you hit d go right click, click deafen. And then you can't hear us anymore. Yeah. Like, right. no, on your own name, click deafen.
No, but now you've got the Thundercats <laughs> museum behind you. Hello, and welcome. Hello. Slowly I've never heard that before. That's the best thing ever. I hope the first thing everyone hears is us talking about the Thundercats wall behind Katie. Oh, don't worry. That was in there. And now, here we are. We're on video. Shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Because I have to find the script and like also keep everything else open. All right, we're good now. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Katie, <laughs> did you have something to add? No, just let him do his thing. <laughs> we're killing it. Do whatever he's doing. Uh, okay. Having a glass of water. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome. Welcome to our very first monthly live table read of an X Men script that never got made. Except by us, right now, we're filming this. This is as good as it's ever going to get for Wolverine and the X-Men. Who's playing Scarlet Witch? Sadly, Wanda Maximum is not in this one, as far as I know. But let, first, I don't let's think so. Let's introduce the cast, because we have, we have at least one newcomer to this stream. Um, of course, we have a flying cat, played by Todd. Todd, yeah. <laughs> regular, regular mutant ages are. We have Katie here who's going by Janet Wolf, Janny Wolf, her alter ego, in, yes. <laughs> in her from, little nameplate there. From in Warcraft Valley. You really know us, but yes. who's this other Ryan? Who's Ryan Truman? Tracer and Gino. Also, oh, yeah. Barry Burton. Saga <laughs> with us on a different podcast. Our I feel like that, childhood. <laughs> He's that oh yeah, said <laughs> so much. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Hello, everyone. Yes, I'm Ryan T, the other Ryan. <laughs> Yep. Um, so the question from the chat is this flying cat from a game, Todd? Yeah, it's a, it's a Gaelic kitten from Final Fantasy fourteen. Great. Love it. Oh, yeah. Well, I, ma good. I made well, this gift myself. <laughs> We're going to get Brock addicted to that game. I just got him into Guild Wars 2, and now he's going to be all over Final Fantasy. Sorry, Brock. I promise it'll be a Guild Wars. Wars. I promise it'll be a Guild Wars 2 follow pet next time, then, or something. It doesn't okay. need to be. 
so are we ready to do some silly voices and read us? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Of My course. first question is, um, people in the chat, I noticed that the T said that Maddie is a little quiet. Is that still true? Is Maddie quieter than the rest of us? Um, let me see what I can do about that. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, E-Rock. Welcome to the oh, chat. Wait. Is this better? Whoa. Well too loud? <laughs> I'm sorry. Too loud? No. No, you're fine. I can now turn you good. down. Now you good. Okay. So. I mean, what we can always turn you up or down, but. Okay. Am I better? Well, chat, keep me posted. Uh, yeah. So, while we're deciding this, um, I will say that this screenplay is by Gary Goldman, who I Googled today, and apparently he wrote The Secret of Nim, which is a movie I like, Ooh. and some other animated movies. Um, so you're surprised that this what? may not be something you like? God, <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Like... <laughs> I was not expecting the secret of Nim dude to be behind <laughs> oh, this. Oh, wow. wow. I wasn't Tale. expecting Anastasia. it. Woo! I was, and cool. Anastasia? Yeah, he's written a lot of animated wow. movies. All dogs go to heaven? Wait, yeah. what? I know. I know. Okay. It's also written Damn. out of children's movies, which... Wait, did he did he write all these movies or did he direct them? Hold on, well, let's see. Well, there were several movies he's directed but not written, like Titan A.E., for example. He, okay, okay, he wrote... Okay, the ones he did write are, as you said, Secret of Nim, All Dogs Go to Heaven, Rock-A-Doodle, I don't know what A Troll in Central Park <laughs> is, and then Dragon Slayer the movie. Yeah, so some of them are good, some of them are Dragon Slayer the movie. Uh, so this actually was apparently heaven? written on June 18th, 1991. I had 1994 written down for some reason, but I'll, I'll have to change that in the, the YouTube description uh, after this. Because uh, okay. this is actually 91, so this is much earlier than we we thought, and, and significantly earlier than the first actual live-action X-Men film came out. So um, who wants to read Stage Directions? Oh, man. Okay, so it's got to be one of us that is down for reading it in a fairly well, uh, I don't know, something that can enunciate well and also go fast, because there's a lot of stage directions, like a lot of them. I nominate Todd. <laughs> Doesn't you know, mean you can't there's... play other characters, <laughs> No, yeah, it's just no. the part of me that has to lecture for six straight hours on Tuesday maybe should have reconsidered what <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do no, it. Todd, that we'll means you need her. to play no, a lot of it's... female characters and you need to like it. How do you feel it's about that? Fine. I, okay. It's why don't fine. we trade them off? I'm right going off to start role. in the interest of us getting out of here okay. literally ever. So <laughs> Um Okay, so you're gonna start stage directions, Todd? Let's switch I am gonna through, then. Well, okay, yeah, right, I think fine. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> Plus, um, if we do I, I have one prepared joke, and actually the stage directions would be that prepared joke. So okay, this is great. good. Great. I'm going to start. Todd has five minutes that is I did not read this in advance. Todd did. <laughs> I have a joke that will take longer to explain than to tell. Fine. Um, so, Katie, why don't you play Kitty Pride? Yes. And I... I knew that was coming. <laughs> Katie <laughs> I Pride! I, was <laughs> I, I knew will it. play Leslie, famous X-Men character. <laughs> the lesbian. <laughs> um, Leslie the lesbian. Uh, who? There's so many characters in this. Uh, I, no, we just just go, just go. And we'll okay, figure it we'll out. Just, as we figure we'll it out. just go for it. We'll go for it, yeah. and we'll see what we can do as we go. These people were probably all here for the Christmas show. They know what they're getting into. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, right. I get to start. I'm skipping roll credits. Credits come at the start of the movie, folks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Exterior at East City High School day. Kids mingle in the yard at lunchtime. Outside, a short, hairy bruiser with mutton chops. <laughs> Who could it be? Look, look. <laughs> Looks. I hate photocopies. Looks. Yeah, yeah. It's looks through a chain. Yeah. This, so <laughs> is, maybe, maybe I should zoom in it a little bit. That would be helpful. Wait, can you uh, doesn't like help. I tried. Yeah. Oh, you're you're this. right. It doesn't help. It still looks like locks at like three hundred percent zoom. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yep. It's looks. Okay. Moving on. Through a chain link fence, sporting dark glasses and chomping on a cigar. Wolverine. Forty. <laughs> Forty. Four <laughs> hands through the crowd. His point of view probes and picks its way through the students, panning, searching, racking focus. Across the way, he spots <laughs> a, a girl. This, this is the opening. Totally is. <laughs> this is the opening to the movie. It's the first shot is Wolverine staring at children through a fence. Yeah, like, dude, what? racking no, focus. Not good. We get a not shot good. of Wolverine, shot. and then we literally just rotate into his head watching kids <laughs> through a fence, which is even more fucked oh God, up. It does. Why are we going to his point of view? At least they're not asleep. 
Is he like Michael Myers? I have so many questions. But they're at a school. Wow. It's like, uh... We are going to get through approximately right? six pages of this script. Okay. <laughs> the next right we're sentence, going, yes. even. Uh, his... Okay. He, see, he spotted a girl. His eyes hone in on her. Wolverine, on its own line, glances down at a rough sketch of the girl in his hand. He checks it against the original. Kitty Pride. Pretty. Cultish, a word that nobody has used since like 1973. Yeah, Chestnut hair, 16. Yeah, and only in screenplays. Oh, what does it right? mean? I, you know what? Horse Moving on. like. Horse like. <laughs> her face is very long. She, oh she chats with her prettier, wow, script. Hipper yeah, friend, Leslie. Up. Wow. They so sneak glances Leslie. at Leslie. Yeah. yeah. More like Les. Libyan. They Elijah sneak Libyan. glances at Alex, an artistically sexy guy with his own sense of Wait, style. Okay, Alex? clearly gay. Who are all these gay characters? A gay wow. guy that they want to date. Moving oh. on. <laughs> He's in my math class. Him? Oh, please. Look at the way he dresses. I think he's a babe. Besides, he kind of likes me. No doubt. Okay. Back to Wolverine's POV telephoto. Leslie continues to bag on Kitty's taste in men. On the soundtrack, we hear only a loud "wala." <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's what's in the script of jumbled voices. Wolverine, again, on its own line, cocks his ear towards Kitty. Voices fade and blend like he's focusing through the static. Again, Wolverine's... We never left Wolverine's POV, guy. No wonder they didn't make this movie. Kitty is approached by Roshni, a sweet but uncool Arab-American girl... Ow. Leslie ignores her and turns away. We it can't hear what they you. say. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I think Ryan should be rushing. I've been kind of busy. Do you know what you're doing Saturday? Is well, it Leslie oh. and some of us were thinking if you want to go to 2020, if you want to. Wait, okay. Before like I do the instructions. Are they going to Notorious ABC News Weekend program? Also, 20, what just happened? 20, is, is there a cool nightclub what? called 2020? Yeah, the instructions are sort of confusing oh. here, but I guess Maybe it's like, like an, an uncool girl walks up to them and then Leslie ignores her and then Kitty invites her with them to something. Yeah, and okay. right. Leslie's, Leslie's behind her waving her arms going, no, no, don't. <laughs> and then the yeah, bell literally. Like, Yes, yes, that's yes, actually exactly what you're about to read. Okay, okay. <laughs> Rashni. So who's playing Rashni? Oh, are you not going to read the directions, Todd? I'll just keep I going. did. He okay. did. The school bell. He did. That's okay. See ya. Okay, that's Rashni that walks off. This character again. Yeah, <laughs> and she never comes back. Rashni walks off. Kitty feels bad about blowing off the brown victim character. Mm. Yep. Wow. Not at all racist. Meanwhile... Wolverine turns away and pulls a portable phone out from his jacket, and because this is 1991, it's the size of a a damn football. He pokes in a number. He pokes it in with his claws. With with his claws, he's like, he's like. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, Kitty confronts Leslie. What is happening? That was really nice. So go out with her. Wait, what? (laughs) Again. We're the just as confused. Actually? Leslie's expression challenges Kitty to choose between them. Kitty wimps out. Leslie walks away backwards. Wait, See, I, after she practice, you, hold on. I'll give you I have a question. Ride. Are they asking each other on a date? Like, I, what's I, I happening? Mean, it was Leslie, I, she, she insinuated that she was a lesbian before they actually wrote in that she was a lesbian. So they were making fun of it, even though now it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. It was like, Thank so you. why don't you marry her type comment? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you like meatloaf so much, why don't you marry funny, it? Yeah, Everyone's like, enough, no. 30 okay. years later, she does. They head off in different directions. <laughs> Wolverine, oh on its own line, speaks into the portable phone. <laughs> Who, okay. Right to you. Want to take on Wolverine? <laughs> yeah. Sure. We knew. It's me. I found her. She's too young. <laughs> in this context. I don't, I don't know. It's the end of the scene, for the record. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, I don't... Th- did anybody follow anything that just happened? Because I did not. Okay, I, I can give you a quick summary. Okay. There. Kitty is outside with her girlfriend, being watched by the creepiest Wolverine in the history of movies. <laughs> yep. Yes. They talk about going out, and then a uh, non-white character they've put in 
only to bully, <laughs> comes up, gets bullied, walks away. Kitty and her probably a lesbian friend then walk away. And Wolverine's like, she's too young. That's it. That's okay. the whole scene. Wow. Okay. That's it. That is a quite the opening to a movie, everyone. Yep. On. I don't okay. understand why this wasn't made. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Gold. Genius. He already mentioned rack focus. He's clearly a cinematographic genius. Uh, I... uh, <laughs> this is a mistake to let me on this show. <laughs> Exterior, high school, dusk. Kitty sits on the curb, impatient. Leslie drives up, radio blaring. Alex is riding shotgun. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Kitty springs to her feet. Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. I ran into Alex. We're going over to his house. Leslie nods towards the back seat. Get in. We'll drop you off on the way. Get in, bitch. Get in, loser. We're going after Wolverine. Uh, <laughs> Kitty is floored. No, that's all right. I already called my mother. You're sure? Yeah, she should be here any minute. Okay, see you tomorrow. Kitty, okay. I want to be sure I understand this. <laughs> that bitch just that bitch just tried to take the man she was interested in, right? Yes, like yes, that's what absolutely. happened. Absolutely, hundred percent. After making fun of him, yes, and ditched her. Yep, like literally on the curb. And going, yeah. so yeah. Leslie's a bitch. Our, yeah, Leslie, already, I hate Leslie. Leslie. She's a mean girl. Get her out of here. Yep, Fuck this person. All right. Uh, Kitty steps back as the car pulls away. Dejected, she trudges down the deserted street carrying her school books. End credits. Wait. That's the end of the movie. That's it. Yeah. Back it up. Why did you just say that? See you guys. Wait, the credits were rolling over all of that shit? What? Okay. <laughs> opening credits. Okay. No, but you know, like in the corner when it's like, Hugh Jackman. She's yes. too young. No, you're right. It's exactly what was happening. Oh, oh my god. god. I will I will switch over. I will be No no no. This is it. This is my big okay. moment. Just okay. Kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Ryan, I'm uh, ready to be I'm Raul reading. in a second. Yeah. Exterior. Yeah. And I'm not even kidding. Bad neighborhood. No. Night. No. Yeah. Oh. It, does. it says that. It says that. It literally says it, folks. Kitty walks home through urban blight wearing a long coat. She turns a corner and sees Ooh. a, again, direct quote, Hispanic gang on the other side of the street. Okay. Because apparently they really wanted Los Lobos in the 1986 <laughs> robot movie comedy Short Circuit to appear in this Good for God. some reason. At this point, it had only been five years, okay? <laughs> it was still current. It was eight teenage out. boys are kicking and beating an oh wow i skipped over <laughs> this what is beating an old man Ooh. what is happening he's beating up an old man who's already dead wow. and there's eight of them you know there's how eight. teens are especially yeah. teens of color oh. terrifying and kitty, kitty hesitates neighbor. and considers turning back <laughs> i would too ma'am but, she but one of the she doesn't but one of the gang sees her so she continues which makes Zero sense. Uh, walks briskly, looks straight ahead. The youths, now alerted, the two youths, the youths, now alerted, ogle her and whistle. She ignores them and speeds up. The reader, the, the reader, the reader, Laul, the, the le fuck, the leader, Laul, calls to her. Okay, who wants to and be a racist? <laughs> oh my God. Right? Who's the least white person here? Don't, don't, don't do a funny voice for the non-white character. I feel like that's Please that's don't. a bad problem. Okay, I feel by like way, yeah. Ra Raul also says, "Oh my God, Katie, wasn't my fucking Spanish name Raul in Spanish it class?" Was. Oh no, you you were was, too, actually. <laughs> was it really right? <laughs> yeah, it was. you guys had the same name, <laughs> so you were both Raul. What's the same? Right. Okay. Get one reading. Of, one of you do it. Right, take this because all right, you're I got it. less white than I am. So I'll, I'll try to be the, the <laughs> Jake dude from Twilight. What's the matter, Chica? You're not in the mood. Kitty <laughs> keeps walking, afraid. Don't wow. you like us? She ignores them. Hey, you hear me talking to you? He starts across the street. The others follow. Kitty makes a quick right at the corner. Bad move. Dead end. Movie over. She tries to backtrack. <laughs> Too late. They've turned in after her. She backs up. Look, I've got to get home. Relax. The night is young. Four X's. Yeah, yeah in the script. Four X's in the end of the That's how you know there's Relax. A, a sweet song of sexual peril as a part of this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Just a little something. Here 
Okay, he reaches for her. Ah, oh, I can't even see straight. Right I know. He reaches for her books. She holds them tight. Don't you want to play? He yanks them out of her arms onto the ground. Jesus. Forget about homework. <laughs> Kitty backs away. This, this Please this don't. So okay. Weird. Please but don't. I, I really hope that Kitty is delivering it like Kitty is, where it's just like really annoyed. She's like, please, please don't. Kitty's just like, please, Stop. please don't. Not. <laughs> not. <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with this shit right now. I have to mock her twice. I'm you so, have to mock her twice in a row. I'm so sad that this is a typewriter and it clearly can't be this because I really enjoy the idea that this was a copy paste error. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Right? There was, there was <laughs> no extra control V. There was no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. This no. was all typed really out. You, okay. you mocking her well, twice in a row. Ooh. All right, so yeah, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I don't like this song. Kitty That's backs right. up to a brick wall at the end of the alley. She presses herself against it. We know what's coming. <laughs> Raul stops a few feet away from her, pulls out a switchblade, of course he does, and clicks it open. Now, be nice. Why did yeah. there have to be a rape threat that makes her powers work? Why? 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 No. Why? 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 And also, it's Why? like super racist at the yeah. same time. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, problematic. It's welcome to the 90s. He holds the knife to her throat and leans in to kiss her. She closes her eyes and shrinks away from him, and this is underlined, melts into the wall like a ghost. <laughs> and Raul no. kisses the wall. Oh, he's kisses like, the Yum. wall. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty's yeah. clothes fall to the ground because we have to follow <laughs> sexual peril vibes and you're Whoa, naked. Not, not even making it up. Does oh, that happen in any not, other X Men media? Was okay, Kitty, literally, okay. she is naked in the next scene. I okay, keep it's true. not making that it's up. Did have a teenager in this film it's running around naked? It. Oh my god. Bro. Bro. Jesus. Dun, dun. So anyway, I don't know why this wasn't made. Uh. <laughs> This Interior. Oh, wow. You literally gave us one. Okay. Screenplay fun. It. We go interior factory, night. Kitty staggers backwards out of the brick wall, naked. Exterior alley. They literally cut to the inside just to show her with no clothes on and then back to outside we with weird three minutes into this movie. Sure. It's, okay, three minutes into this movie. So Logan's concerned. already being a pedophile and also Kitty's naked. That's the okay, first three so minutes we're of this not... And it's racist. And it's racist. This yeah. is a rape scene. Great. <laughs> the Wolverine yeah. thing's not going to get any better. Just it, hold on. We're about yeah, to get two minutes there, into this. <laughs> the boys look at each other spooked and cross themselves. Raul gingerly picks up her clothes. <laughs> Vamanos. <laughs> they taking your clothes? <laughs> Why? Why? They want to sniff her underwear, apparently. I, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you're probably not wrong, but wow. Okay, we need to get through this awful scene, so let's yes. keep it moving. They, they, stop it. They dash, <laughs> they dash back down the alley with Kitty's clothes. As they near the street, Wolverine steps into the mouth of the alley and blocks their way. He is so formidable that the whole gang stops in its tracks. All oh, I get to them. talk to myself. Oh, yeah. Have fun, Ryan. Oh. Get out of the way, man. What do you do to the girl? We didn't do nothing. Wolverine nods towards Kitty's clothes and his arms. What's that? Raoul realizes he's in trouble. He pulls a switchblade, because of course he does, and flicks it open. Oh my you god. You were old man. The gang members pull knives of every variety. <laughs> every variety? <laughs> every <laughs> variety. Like there's a what? butcher knife, like a katana. A gooey knife, a, knife, knife, yeah. a right. herring knife, a butter <laughs> knife. <laughs> a knife. <laughs> Okay, I am the first knife, which is blunt on every side. If we film this in real life, and we film this in real life, I would be the person holding the butter knife. Butter knife, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> the gang members. Wait, wait, wait. All right, Wolverine doesn't flinch. <laughs> there we go. Okay, great. Nice blades, uh, but I brought my own. He holds up his right hand. Snick. Da -da -da. Three shank kick. <laughs> Yay! It finally happened. Three shiny metal claws slide out between his knuckles, each a foot long. He holds up his left hand. Snick. The matching set, guys. It's exactly <laughs> what the set the directions set. say, for the record. He brought them at Sears. Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> they could okay. slice a tomato and a soda can in half. Raul and the boys have that sinking feeling. Wolverine smiles demonically and steps forward. What? <laughs> this is somewhere Wolverine murders a bunch of He's going to murder them. Yeah, this is where yeah, Wolverine just yep. straight up murders... Can you imagine uh, this 
script being pitched to Marvel, and they're like, okay, we want to make an X Men film, which is about marginalized classes, and it's going to open us open up with a rape scene caused by a marginal class, and it's like, <laughs> what the hell are you giving me right now? Yeah. I don't know. The, I well, we we are not on this on this show to talk about X Men two thousand. We are here to make fun of this specific <laughs> script and sure. no other one. Todd, whenever That's you true. want me to take over, I'm happy to do it. I I want to do the the last bit with Wolverine being a pedo. Uh, right. Interior factory, freaked out and naked, clearly. Kitty tremulously touches the brick wall. Sure enough, it's solid. Behind her, a long coat wraps around her shoulders. She spins and sees that it's Wolverine, gallantly covering her up. Okay. She shrinks away from him. I think these are yours. You think? He's, <laughs> they don't fit me. He sets her <laughs> I tried them off first, but they weren't my size. He sets her shoes and clothes on a table and walks off. Her fear what? turns to curiosity as he disappears into the shadows. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, okay, like, I'm honestly this sad. Like I've never been portrayed in this way. Because, like, I like... I like that. Oh, no, they're gonna leave them where you can't get them. They're probably all bloody now. Sorry. <laughs> also, like, like, did he... Professor X like send Logan here? And Logan's like, I guess. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I really enjoy is the idea that he Ooh. took the clothes from Raoul, set them down, Ooh. turned around, brought up his claws, murdered them all. <laughs> back around, picked up the clothes, <laughs> walked around the building because Kitty went through the wall so yeah. he clearly so didn't. he had to get back in. Like, he had to oh fight the right. And somehow did right. all that shit fast enough to get to Kitty before she turned the fuck around from having walked yeah. through the wall. She was really freaked <laughs> out for like 10 she, minutes. She, she was clearly. looking at that wall for a really long time. Continuity yep. is a myth. Okay, okay. Oh it's all you, Maddie. That was Go awful. Nuts. Okay, um, oh, no, Todd, I think that, that means, means I have, have to be Missy Glacius. I have to be Missy Glacius! <laughs> <laughs> Interior oh, counselor's am, office at school, day. I am Kitty an enters the room. Missy Miss Glacius? Oh, sorry. God. <laughs> Miss Iglesias, a kind woman in her mid-40s, seems happy about something. Come in, Kitty. There's a gentleman here who wants to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm totally doing the supermodel don't touch your teeth together smile after every one of these lines for the record. This is taught as a teacher be like passing off his student be like get this child out of my fucking class. Please please, please right. leave. <laughs> Kitty seems alarmed by his appearance. Pan and discover not Wolverine but oh. Professor Charles Xavier 40 completely bald business suit in a wheelchair. Hey, he's the same age Why as Why is she alarmed? Movie? 40. Right? Okay, but also saying this, they said Logan was forty. Also, so yeah, they're like so the, they're same the same age. Yeah. Now. Everybody's forty. Oh, so but now for the best line, twenty-five, baby. They're sixteen. 16 yeah. yeah. Now for the best line of the entire script, though. Yep. Yes. Actually, this. Oh line my god. Is. Okay. Xavier exudes an intimidating intelligence like a benign Hannibal Lecter. He's not benign, folks. There's nothing benign about him. Okay, Next that's amazing, him, though. Next to him is Jean Grey, a beautiful red-haired Grace Kelly, about 22, dressed in a casual bohemian style that makes no big deal about her curvaceous figure. Calm wow. down, what? Gary. Dude, yeah. seriously. <laughs> Why are we that horny writing already? Bro, cold shower. Wow. Professor be... Xavier runs the Xavier School for <laughs> Gift youngsters we're affiliated with the exton academy kitty's eyes light up the exton academy why is it called exton gene gene nods I don't and know. smiles X. i don't fucking know i think oh god am i gonna be xavier too uh rye p you have yet to play anyone okay yeah <laughs> oh fine what's what's charles xavier yeah, good point. Are, we, are we doing tas or like any other version because like and the TS, he's like, I want to hear your fakest fucking British Please, accent. Please, be a bomb. Okay, Get well, he's, I mean, Xavier's probably fake, too. He's like, I don't know if you're interested in transferring. <laughs> Are you kidding? Cut to, apparently she fucking left. I don't yeah, know. Wait, like, what? Yeah, the Exton Academy. <laughs> also, like, fuck look, off, one or the other. I can't believe it's Exton, which, by the way, uh, listeners, it's spelled E-X-T-O-N. It's not like X hyphen ton no something. but i think the point is to make it be like x something yeah I like guess. it sounds like the exxon mobile company it does it sounds like exxon to me i do, I do appreciate that xavier school is actually just like eaten an, an, an after school club at this famous school which is kind of awesome i, I actually know. like that 
Okay, so there's like a whole bunch of like description happening. Yeah, here, here we go. Here we go. A right? junior cab drives onto the historic pastoral campus and passes the elegant hand painted sign, Exton Academy, founded in 1783. Wow, okay. Interior checker cab day. Kitty sits in the back seat and eagerly soaks it in. Exterior Xavier Mansion day. The taxi pulls to a stop in front of a huge gothic stone mansion covered with ivy. It is more than a little sinister. <laughs> you see the Wayne sign Manor. next to the door. <laughs> Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. So this, I guess, is a little different from Exton. This the driver is the place. says, this is the place, which I guess talks about. This is the place. Funny. This is the place. Yeah, it's fine. Jean Gray and two other it. students That's... come out the front door to greet Wait, him. what? Scott Hold Summer, on. not plural, 22, <laughs> handsome, brooding, wears wraparound shades, and Jason Wingard. And Jason Wingard. <laughs> 19 <laughs> years old. 19 old. Dibs on Jason. Street attitude thin, trying too hard to prove something. Okay. Yeah, I've okay. Seen, I, wow. I'm going to be, uh, please let me be goth, Jason. Please, of please, course. please. Of course. Okay. Course. I don't think you have any lines, but you're goth Jason already. Jean's cool. Here. Hi, Kitty. Did you have any trouble finding us? Nope. We just followed your instructions. Well, that's weird. No, I'm just kidding. Jean pays the driver. <laughs> <and> <laughs> the dogs at the grounds. Come on. I'll show you your room. Jean picks up a small bag in either hand and starts to lead Kitty inside. X Mansion interior. Jean and Kitty enter the cavernous entrance hall. Kitty is intimidated by the opulence and scale. Good lens. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is the professor's home. We're all in a special program that he runs personally. Okay, You'll Jean, be attending calm it regular down. classes at the main campus that you pass on the way in. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm taking narration back so she can play Jean. Okay. 22. I just graduated from Holyoke. Scott That's brings so her luggage inside and sets it in the why holy oak. Scott oh brings her luggage inside and sets it in the foyer. I thought that said Scott brings her luggage inside and sets it on fire. I was like, wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get just blast it with his high beams real quick. <laughs> Reveal like, horror These shit. People? I didn't know that. Kitty, oh god, here we go. Kitty takes notice. Ugh. Is he in the program? <laughs> Kitty doing Jeez. the air quotes. Yeah, that's Scott. Kitty looks back at him as they reach the second story. This is your room. Interior, Kitty's room, because Jean just literally told us that's where we are. A musty <laughs> corner room in pure Victorian style. It's like a museum. The lace curtains automatically swish to one side. <laughs> literally says automatically. Swish to one side of the window, letting in sunlight. The we got to the Xavier Mansion really fast. I mean, did Jean do the curtains or is it actually automatic? I like to believe that Xavier implied. is such a rich asshat that he has like voice activated, like Alexa shit, where anybody mentions how the room is supposed <laughs> to look. He has the first Alexa. He, he does does some like Cerebro. He's like, Cerebro, set a timer for 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 also, yeah, I'm gonna agree with chat. Musty is not a good word. Musty is like it smells like mold. Mm. That's yeah, bad. It's terrible. You know yeah. Anyway, Jean says the professor's Whoa! grandmother lived here when she was a girl. Okay, that's creepy. It is. <laughs> Why is Kitty getting put in the professor's grandmother's room? I don't. I yeah. don't know what's happening? Haunted. I mean, they already say it. We are like six, six minutes movie, in, right? Did, yeah. Okay, this is. We are six minutes into this film, and like we have already had a crazy, weird, had, racist rape we've scene, had a and like <laughs> scene, and that's and you, in a horror haunted. Also, like scene. in that six minutes, they transfer Kitty the fuck out of that other school and put her here, and she's like, and, like "You just live like, here now. We're not going to bring you down." Ilyana and her weird ass puppet are gonna like pop out oh, and say, God. Do you, you know what I can score? Like, hey, like, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's her. her <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I can't anymore. Oh, Gene lifts <laughs> Kitty's bags and, um, and objects on the desk move. I was gonna say, and objects. It's just like, fuck, why are you making objects. me do this? <laughs> and objects. On the desk, move aside Ooh. to make room. Jean sets down the bags and the space just cleared. Kitty hesitates. Did she really see that? Why don't you get unpacked and have a look around? The bathroom's down the hall, and I'll take you to see the professor in a little while. Great, thanks. Jean leaves. Kitty sits on the bed, bounces on it, looks out the window. Giraffes and elephants graze on the savannah. What? what? 
Yeah, what? I, I yeah. What? She steps to the other window and looks out. Skiers slalom downhill in the Alps. What the oh, okay. What's going on in here? So Kitty's <laughs> looking at a television screen and she's really confused by it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, an like, she, like, he just brought her to like the danger room. She's like, here, this is your room. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're following like your horror movie, movie pattern pretty seriously, though, right? Like, yeah. This, re- this reminds me of the old, uh, the old X Men cartoon from the like the eighties or whatever. Oh yeah, same. The very, pride yeah. of the yep. X Men, kind of. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. What I was yeah. thinking Because she pulls this. up in the cab at the beginning and everything. That's what I. As soon as the right. cab came up, I was like, oh, is Kurt in the this? next scene? I, oh, Kurt's in this. He does show up. Yes. That's oh shit. shit. Because well, uh, the next line, Todd. Yeah. Perplexed, she turns and sees what looks what sees what words what looks like a furry creature scurry past her doorway it's long oh, oh that should not have an apostrophe mr yeah. screenwriter yeah. it's long tail like, is he's the last part not a to good just... writer. <laughs> yes she hurries into the hallway to get a better look hallway she sees only jason playing billiards by in the hallway <laughs> by himself in the hallway hey. in the hallway hey. because why not hey how's it going <laughs> Do you see some kind of animal out here? He looks at her like she's crazy. No. (laughs) Kitty looks away, puzzled, just as Scott, the single summer, reaches the top of the stairs with two heavy pieces of her luggage. Oh, Oh. thank Scott. Oh, Scott. Hi. My room's right over here. So always he's got a place, Scott. Uh, Kitty runs ahead and opens the door to her room. Okay. Oh, oh right, you? interior, Kitty's room. He squeezes past her through the threshold. What? <laughs> wow, cool shades. Oh my god, it's Scott! Oh, wait, right, you or me? It doesn't we're gonna, matter. We're gonna do the same voice, so like... <laughs> you want, do you wanna, do you I know want, what you're gonna do. Okay, do you want Scott or Kurt? know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Dude, you're better at Kurt than I am. I'll, I'll okay, do Scott. Okay, take Scott, okay. Where do you want these? <laughs> <laughs> Can I try him on? And before he can stop her, she grabs the sunglasses from his face. And he doesn't close his How? eyes! <laughs> How do I even fucking read? Literally, a whole line, this is BZ-8. An entire line of bz Scott liquidates Kitty into a pile of ash. The end. Over. The end. A powerful Roll red press. laser beam projects from Scott's eyes, buzzing deep and loud. It sweeps across the room, blasting a path of destruction. Oh my Scott God. grabs his glasses from Kitty in a panic and slaps them on his face. The lenses block the beam. Silence is restored. Kitty is breathless. They are not your style. <laughs> Scott, Mortified. I apologize for destroying her room. Like, right? I, I, what is going this is terrible this is awful <laughs> okay, in his defense bitch just took him off his face okay <laughs> yeah I mean True. what <laughs> just snatch mortified kitty runs out of the room take <laughs> it away Maddie <laughs> corridor Wait, so, okay. she runs hold right on. What? hold on I, I, I gotta say this from com- from the chat e rock baby says kitty should have died like four times already <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're not giving you are hundred percent. You know what? <laughs> what if she has, and that's the whole premise of the movie? Yeah, it's a joke. And she turns out to be literally a ghost. At the yeah. end of the movie, she just turns out to be more. She was a ghost already. Yeah, yeah exactly. she is a ghost already. After wait, that what? Wait, scene. Todd, what did you Pride say about is played Moira? by Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, like she dies like six times, and then at the end of the movie, we find out she's actually Moira. Okay. <laughs> anyway, corridor. Anyway, Kitty runs right into a spidery Ooh. fellow with a bluish furry skin. Sharp teeth, pointy ears, and a long tail. This is Kurt Wagner, 20, poetic, kind, and insecure. Actually, he's not bad looking in a very weird way. Kitty screams. He holds her arms and tries to comfort Jesus. her. Don't Those things out. don't go together. <laughs> it's okay, Kitty. Don't scream. <laughs> Kitty pushes him away and runs to Jean, who has just rushed over. How does he know her name? <laughs> what is going on in this place? That's Jean's her actual for a good answer. Uh, we better go see the professor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, just... Jean. Cut to library oh day. Xavier rolls his wheelchair from behind his desk as Kitty enters. Oh my god. The X-Men take seats, all of them. Why does he have a thousand lights? Kurt squats on the sliding bookshelf ladder. What? Okay. 
Apparently, you've all had a chance to meet. I would be, I would have preferred to make the introductions. Well, Xavier, you didn't fucking I'm try. Drinking. So, like, I, yeah, like, <laughs> you said everybody else there in and plops into a large chair. Word choices <laughs> script plot. Yeah. Uh, he just like I just he just like walks in like moving left to right like a fucking matryoshka doll and then just falls <laughs> over. <laughs> okay, you remember Wolverine, don't you? Kitty I recognizes, guess Kitty recognizes him. him. This guy, this is, guy really is really hairy. hairy. <laughs> yeah, and it all starts to click into place. Kitty was cornered by a gang. She escaped by phasing through a brick wall. That is to say, she passed through solid matter. The X-Men are intrigued. That wasn't the first time, was it? I'm not sure. Did something happen, say, a month ago? I'm only asking because it's totally theoretical and I didn't already scan your mind. <laughs> <laughs> One night, I had this dream that I fell through my own bed. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> Says laughs nervously for the record. So he that. <laughs> I woke up on the floor downstairs. That must have been. See, he just admits he went into his hair. Okay, that yep. must be the what I. That must be when I sensed you the first oh. time because I so, did go into your head. We know that it's an X Men property because Xavier was watching her sleep. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Yep. And going into her brain. Okay. And you sensed me. Kitty, I look for people with unusual abilities. People like ourselves. No, not freaks. Xavier, nobody said that. Like, yeah. <laughs> he read well, it okay. Defensively, defensively oh. I didn't say anything. I'm a telepath and I'm always in your brain. God, he oh. sucks. <laughs> this yeah. exchange, I'm trying to imagine actual actors doing this exchange. Just it like, I didn't say anything. I'm a telepath. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like how I like how the cue here from Kitty is just oh. Each of Great. us has some genetic singularity. Jean is telekinetic. She can move things with her mind. Wolverine has sense has keen senses and an accelerated healing factor. You can walk through walls. So you tricked me into coming here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have an amazing talent, Kitty. You can see right through our bullshit. It should be developed. <laughs> She shakes her head. I just want to forget any of this ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. <laughs> if that, and Xavier's like, if that's how you feel, if that's how you feel, fine. It's entirely up to you. I don't mind deleting your brain right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think I belong here. You don't have to apologize. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> She stands, but doesn't seem eager to leave. Kitty, since you're still here, are you sure you wouldn't like us to come help you phase one more time? <laughs> She's like, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. <sighs> she literally stood up and waited a second, and Xavier goes, since you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm sorry the idea I that it's like stage directions, Rai. I just realized you were reading them. I'm very sorry. I was no, just okay. entertained. There was like a lot of silence. Okay, but also now we're about to go into the danger room. Like... Kitty's like, I'm not sure if I want to leave. And Xavier's like, please, please, I'll help convince you by putting you in my room full of guns. <laughs> I can read the stage right? directions for this. Okay, yeah, we, don't, we don't know that there's going to be oh. guns. Oh, oh there, God, why is... there will be guns. There's, there's a danger guns. room. To... There's going to be guns. Because yeah, now you can't guns. leave. I'll kill you in this room first. <laughs> <laughs> a tall, Again, empty room with a basketball court filled with gymnastic and athletic equipment. A large press box window overlooks the area 18 feet up. Xavier rolls in, accompanied by Jean, Wolverine, Jason, and Kitty. So I just love how, like, Jason is just, like, a main yeah. character in this. <laughs> what? So bizarre. Yeah. Uh, okay. So far, your power is completely involuntary. My goal in working with you would be to help you achieve, achieve conscious control. How would you do that? Stand over there next to that wall and I will not answer you. <laughs> Kitty walks to the designated area where iron shackles what are riveted fuck? into the wall. Jason okay. and Jean go with her. Time. Why does he have out? This? Why are we in Xavier's BDSM dungeon? This is Logan and Remy's like the next. Okay. This is we need to Is keep this reading. like the is this, this the session for Logan and Gambit when they like go in the danger yes. and they're like, okay, just checking. This is uh, but they like happily fuck afterwards. That's not what's happening here. <laughs> I don't know. This is this like is a bunch what? of adults with a sixteen-year-old chaining yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, this writer needed to calm down his weird pedophilic feelings. All right, right. Uh, 
A, synap a synaptic path must be forged to the source of your power deep within your brain. So let's shackle you up. The pineal Jason gland. And Jean clamp Kitty's <laughs> ankles and wrists into the shackles. Look that's at yourself in the happening. mirror. Yeah, that's nope. Nope. <laughs> Wait. Okay, this is awful. Look at yourself in the mirror. Remember what you're wearing. Hi. To avoid embarrassment, bitch. Why? Why is the nudity a part wow. of the powers in this it's like, film? I, you have to master Whoa, your part, or you're going to be naked all the time. This and is making also... me awkward as her. I do oh feel like God. we're learning a lot about this particular screenwriter right now. Dude, like, oh my God! Too much. This is like okay. As Kitty looks at herself in the mirror, Jean and Jason finish shackling her. Kitty tests the manacles. Uh, sure enough, she's locked to the wall. Wolverine picks up a long bow and arrow, then steps back and stands in front of Kitty. He strings the arrow in the bow and gets ready to shoot. Bro. <laughs> this isn't dangerous, is it? No more than it needs to be. Xavier, these, <laughs> these methods are so extreme. Okay. Like, I'm going to make your powers work by shooting you in the face. Like, While you're chained at least, to the wall. At oh least God. he picked a weapon that she has a minor chance of getting out of the way of if this shit goes wrong, as opposed to a gun, which would just kill her instantly. That's true. That's yeah, true. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Xavier yeah. nods to Wolverine, who raises the bow and pulls back the bow. Why is Logan going along with this? I don't know. Hey, wait a second. Is this some kind of joke? Wolverine takes solid aim. Nobody smiles. Nobody smiles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do with this. Stop. <laughs> Terrified, Kitty looks to Jean for support. This Hell works. <laughs> Yeah, Jean Jesus, looks Jean. away. Kitty stares wide hell? at Wolverine. Thwang, the arrow flies. Kitty clenches her eyes shut. Thwack, the arrow goes through her throat and lodges in the wall behind her. When the arrow stops vibrating, Kitty opens her eyes uncertainly. She apparently feels no pain, even though the arrow is sticking through her throat. Don't move. Relax. Breathe deeply. These are the lines. <laughs> Relax. Oh, let it flow. Relax. Let it flow. This is some yeah. Nickelodeon shit. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the feet, the feet thing from Nickelodeon. Like this is, it's it's going on right now. <laughs> Kitty stays okay, oh, anyway. uh, still and tries to breathe slower. She's not hurt. Uh, wait. Now step away from the wall. Kitty's afraid to move. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Kitty gathers her, her resolve and pulls forward. Her throat slides along the arrow shaft until the feathers disappear behind her. Her yeah. ankles and wrists pass through the iron shackles. Now hold on to this sensation. Have you got it? She Why is he being so creepy? Imperceptibly. Congratulations. Right. You came. I mean, you phased. <laughs> 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 Put your clothes on. <laughs> Logan. Oh my god. Kitty takes a breath and relaxes, but just for a second. Then anger rises up in her and she charges at Wolverine. You could have killed me, you asshole! <laughs> I thought that's in there. What if I couldn't do it, huh? I would have died! Everyone is holding back laughter. What? Whoa, are you serious? What is wrong with you people? I'm out of here. <laughs> Kitty, I agree with you. She heads to the open so door. So relatable. Kitty, Kitty, don't leave me. <laughs> Jean looks at the door and it slams in Kitty's face. Whoa. Oh, Jason's back. Will you? Will you just chill? <laughs> Let me out. Pull the arrow from the wall. <laughs> I don't have to do what you say. <laughs> Just do it. She reluctantly goes to the wall and reaches for the arrow. Her hand goes through it. She tries again, mystified. Am I still phasing? What is happening now? What? what? Yeah, what is this next line? I think it's supposed oh. to be like Jason. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's Jason. Oh, God. Oh, okay. anyway. lame. It's, I hate this already. Oh. It's literally Xavier's thing. Oh. It's a mental image. Compliments tuxedo mask. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so the arrow turns into a red rose, and Xavier says, it's a mental image. Compliments Jason. Kitty looks at Jason in wonder. He smiles boastfully. Next uh. to him, Wolverine holds the actual arrow in his hand because he's a fucking magician who pretended to shoot an arrow but didn't actually shoot an arrow. <laughs> right? Why does, does arrow arrow yeah, why does he have the arrow at all? Yeah, why does he have the arrow? That doesn't make know. any sense. Also, everybody in our chat is like Losing astonished it. with like how <laughs> terrible this is. Like, this is yeah. so much. This is and like everyone's like, really why bad. is Kitty naked again? All right, so now it's the dining room at night. Interior okay. dining room, night. Kurt's why probably drinking milk. Why I is guess. she in here? 
She, I don't think I, she knows how to get out of here. Yeah, I guess she's still phasing, so she's like stuck I mean, here until she figures it out. the door! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the thing. Like, she just shuts the door in her face, and they're like, you literally just taught her how to face through solid matter, you oh idiot. Oh my god. Yeah, like, bye. The professor <laughs> and... <laughs> Close your eyes, Scott! The professor and all the X-Men sit around a table. From the way Kurt looks at Kitty, it seems he has a crush on her. She's, she's oh, engrossed in the discussion. Me. Anyway. Okay, everybody in this script is horny for Kitty Pride, and like I love well, Kitty Pride, like but this is like she is sixteen. Yeah, thank yeah, you. I mean, course. Kurt is twenty, which I think is kind of gross, but like at least it's not. Also, as also gross we know canonically, Kitty. canonically know that we know they turn out just to be friends, so that yes. helps. Okay. Right. That's true. But oh, still, she's le- but, she's legal. Well, is we don't know what's great right defense. Now. Is all I'm saying. I know. I know. Oh, good. Now we all have lines. Okay. Yep. Ha. Are there a lot of other mutants out there? Statistically, there must be thousands, but only a few are aware of their powers. Oh, that's me also. And they're not all nice guys. <laughs> Neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why we're here. To keep them in line. That's one reason. Jean, pass the corn, please. Okay, Scott's like... <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to get this out because I'm laughing so hard. Oh my god. Without being touched, the plate of corn slides down the table and stops in front of Scott. It goes right into his butt. Uh, (laughs) Whoa, the next page is crazy, guys. All right. I started this school originally so people like us would have a place in the world so we could be ourselves. Kitty contemplates this strange family that she's about to join. Why are Cut we joining against it? Against her will. <laughs> Seriously, please know. just leave. Cut to <laughs> exterior X-Mansion basketball court day. Close on a bouncing basketball. On the soundtrack, a whistled rendition of Sweet Georgia Brown. What? It's Scott, uh, can I, can I Jason, and I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. <laughs> It's Scott, Jason, and Kitty versus Kurt, Wolverine, and Gene. Gene grimaces this with frustration. Oh, That's wait. what they wanted. They wanted this song. Yeah, okay. that's terrible. Oh. Harlem, Harlem, Harlem Globetrotters commercial yeah. music. Yes. Wait, Gene grimaces with frustration. Did we skip a page? No, because I think she's um, playing basketball, right? Or No, we did. Yeah. This goes from 16 to 18. Interesting. What yeah. happens on pages page seventeen? Well, <laughs> jumps to Jean grimacing with frustration, and the sunglasses collapse as if smudged by telepathic thumbs. So somewhere in this basketball game, Jean is like Scott, fuck your glasses. <laughs> yeah. Also, like I don't know, maybe like who knows what the whole scene was. Uh, all right. What is to be so bad that it was removed from this movie? I don't know. But I'll just I'll just read Jean. Take off your glasses. What? I want to see what you look like. You don't know? <laughs> this is what I look like. <laughs> she sits... Okay, she sits next to him on the piano bench, and I really enjoy the idea that there's a goddamn grand piano on the, the basketball, basketball court, court, which we still have not left. Reflected in the ruby quartz glasses <laughs> lenses, she reaches out for the frames. Without thinking, he grabs her wrists. Hard. I'll do Wait. it. What is happening? Yeah. I, I don't know. know. They're having I, a flirtation. You know, they were whistling Sweet Georgia Brown, and then she was playing it on the piano. <laughs> as a compliment for the basketball, which I guess... Whatever, fuck the script. He lets go of her and slowly removes his shades. His eyelids are shut tight. His face is tense. She looks at him lovingly, touches his face, his eyelids. Relax. She... Lose let it flow. Wrinkles? Relax. Let it flow. Let it she flow. smooths it. His wrinkles leans closer. He feels her breath. Abruptly, he backs away and puts on his shades. Seen enough. I'm gay. His face reverts to a hard mask (laughs) hidden behind dark, reflecting lenses. She looks at him, trying to find the person who was there a moment ago. He turns back to the piano again, inexplicably on the basketball court, and begins playing. (laughs) Scott can play? I don't know. 
Jean bust. wants to say something, but she just goes back to the bust. Oh my god, that was terrible. This that missing wow. page also, we'll never, contains. We'll ne- we will never know what happened. Contains to page multitudes. Se- okay, our know. listeners are like well, very confused about page seventeen, and they really are like, "What? How bad was it?" If anyone <laughs> finds it, let us know. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now it's night time. It's Kitty and Kurt. Okay, Ooh. I can read this, Todd. I'll take over. Thank you. Interior, kitchen, night. Alone, Kurt dances and makes himself a peanut butter, jelly, and banana sandwich. I he's love com- those! Me too. <laughs> he's completely mobile in three dimensions, jumping from countertops to the backs of chairs. He pulls Wait, time jars out, time out, time shelves. out, time out, time out. Yeah. Where's my milk? We are all always completely mobile in three dimensions <laughs> at all times. <laughs> we live in a three-dimensional universe. <laughs> what the fuck, script? Not like Kurt. He's way mobile. Like, mobile in a way you can't even imagine. <laughs> He's oh, wow. so fucking mobile. So mobile. Um, okay. He pulls jars from shelves and juggles them into his routine, using his tail as an additional arm. He even makes a dance out of intentionally slipping on a banana peel, causing it to fly <laughs> into the garbage. Okay, okay this is that's like, actually cool. That's I'm into that. Fun. I like this circus routine that he's doing. Kitty watch, walks in and watches secretly. She's surprised at his grace, his brilliance. He sees her and stops abruptly. <laughs> Sorry, I was just coming to get some soda. It's in the fridge. As she opens the fridge, he gets a glass for her and sets it on the counter. He moves away from the glass and she picks it up. Kitty realizes that Kurt is even more nervous than she is. She tries to find something to say. Have you been here a long time? About five years. How do you like it? It's a lot better than where I came from. He edges towards the door. Uncomfortable silence. Well, auf Wiedersehen. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says, but I really like that version. I know. We have we have made a few changes to the script, all for the better. Uh, the version of the script uh, is yeah. way better. Yeah. Okay, hold on. What is this next scene where Logan's I shopping? Okay, like, this next scene okay. already oh, no. gross. Okay, this is Logan's day. getting this groceries, is- everyone. Bad <laughs> shit. Okay. Wow. I cannot wait. Rolls wait. a shopping cart down the aisle. Just hold that image in your heart for the yeah. rest of time. <laughs> Buying the groceries sentence. for the entire household. I can't believe that's Logan's job. I just, I can't. Oh my god! This. I can't. Right. Like he would. It's, I just would imagine think it would be, be like, jeans after this, like wonderfully, like misogynistic script. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be yeah. Jean? Jean's a woman. <laughs> I, I, she knows about kitchens. Well, anyway, she well now, right? now, now the the writer is like dot, like trying to dot, pedal backwards really quick. Yeah. Um, Jason also, reads Logan, a copy of the Star. By the way, Jason is also buying groceries with Logan. He is, but also I want to point out that Logan's like, I'm going to buy groceries. And it's probably like a cart full of like meat and beer, and he's like, This is what everyone <laughs> wants, right? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> we have steaks. <laughs> it's like some steaks. Shit. It's right. just but, Steakums A one <laughs> and some white bread. And then like the, <laughs> where the where the uh, the baby part goes for the kids, the babies. It's just like full of Slim Jims. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I really enjoy it. Like we've been clearly we've been giving like the Hugh Jackman gruff Wolverine, but I actually really enjoy that the idea that this Wolverine is like the Newfie Wolverine from the Floating Hands <laughs> movies. <laughs> he's just like I don't know. I think it's funny. <laughs> Okay, that was also Rye when you played Wolverine in that Warcraft Valley movie. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep. All right, anyway, Jason's here. You see this, Chewy? They sold a painting for 15 million bucks. You think this piece of shit's worth 50 million? Okay, wait. Is Jason calling him Chewy because of Star Wars? Is that yes. the joke? I, yes, that is the Probably. joke. Probably. Okay, 1991. Just checking, just checking. Anyway, Jason chose Wolverine a photo of Van Gogh's sunflowers, which is great. So fuck you, Jason. Anyway. Yeah, and Logan says. Yo, Logan L- Logan says this. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's pretty. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? Adorable. Wait, what? Hold on. In the background, wait, what? a woman wait, 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 wait. runs down the aisle screaming, and a moment later, a rhinoceros lopes down the aisle after her. Is this Jumanji now? No, what? just what? Jason being a shit. Oh. Will you cut it out? Jason loads up on six packs of beer. If you dig art so much, hairball, let's go down to the museum and score a few Rambrands. Or Rambrand, Rambrands. 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 Uh, Rambrands. For us, it'd be easy. Too easy. Why is he agreeing? <laughs> Frustrated, Jason drops the wrinkled newspaper into somebody else's cart. I don't get you. Why do you want to be good? <laughs> because it's harder. Wolverine puts some shaving cream in the cart. What was this scene? 
<laughs> what was this? What shape? just happened? <laughs> was that supposed to be like a profound moment? What, I think what it was supposed to be profound. It it, it's not profound at all. It's like I really no. the idea that Jason's Wolverine is like <laughs> if it good. was if it was more difficult, like if it was more challenging, we would totally steal some Rembrandts. But it would be really easy. So fuck that shit. Like yeah. what? <laughs> that, that is the lesson: is that it's actually it's, yep. it's harder to not steal the. Rembrandts. Oh my god. Okay, E Rock Baby says, "Watch it all be like Jean can't do the shopping." Because she's women's and could be and could get distracted Back from the list. The list. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Speaking of interior linen closet dish, oh, no, no. <laughs> no, it was inevitable. Jean shows Kitty a closet filled with various athletic wear, all with the same color oh. scheme, like at the UCLA store. Okay, okay, guy. Jean pulls out a few items and hands them to Kitty. These are to fit. Why Kitty this, unfolds this a tank gay. top and sees that it is, I know, they are comparing outfits in the closet. Kitty unfolds yeah. a tank top and sees that it is emblazoned with an X logo. Suit up and come to the danger room. Jean Whoa. walks on. Kitty contemplates her selections. Okay, hold on. This is <laughs> gay, right? That yeah, was it's gay. Pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gay. Pretty now we're going to two, the danger two room. girls comparing outfits in the closet? Yo. Oh my god, there's like yeah. literally a page describing the danger room. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Interior <laughs> corridor to the danger room. Day. Kitty walks down the empty hallway, dressed in her workout outfit with the X logo. As she gets to a set of large closed doors, she makes sure her tights are on straight because she picked oh. tights. Why not? Then, with a certain resolve, she pulls open the door. Interior. Oh. Danger room. Are they not day. In their ex, are they not in their uniforms and they're just wearing like eighties workout clothes? I think that they're probably. Workout clothes. Yeah, yeah okay. they're in like yeah. X Men branded jazzercise shit. Yeah, so, the, which is actually I want, great. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, right? please sign me up. The X Men are um, doing downward facing dog. Each wears a different combination of X wear, which is all capitalized, which is as close to costumes as we're going to get in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says that. By the way. And, yeah, it actually says it that. Really says oh that. They're, they're, their nom de guerre are stenciled on their backs. Scott is Scott slash Cyclops. Kurt is Kurt. Should what? I say Nightcrawler? Kurt, Kurt's <laughs> nom de guerre is not Kurt. You dumbass. Jason is Kurt. Mastermind. Gene is Marvel Girl, and Wolverine is Wolverine. <laughs> Bro. Who starring Wolverine as Wait, Wolverine. I really like this idea that like somebody was editing this script and was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna like write my thoughts of this movie." Like, like right the fuck here. That's Sh right. Shout out that to totally not Mr. Sinister in chat with X dash surcise. Yeah, I yes. like it. Sir size, I love good it. shit. Yeah. Kitty Very finds good. her cohorts unexpectedly serious and focused. Jean oh slash Marvel girl. Uh, please don't call her that the whole fucking yeah. movie. Uh, floats an iron plate through a wire obstacle better. course. Kurt slash Kurt script. <laughs> Kurt slash Kurt? What? I are really you thought the first one was a mistake, but no, it's not a mistake. <laughs> this guy Nightcrawler. really didn't know Nightcrawler. Hello, it's me, Kurt Wagner, also known as Kurt Wagner. <laughs> My name is Kurt, but you can call me Kurt. <laughs> Kurt Squared does a spectacular gymnastic routine on an elaborate system of rings, trapezes, wires, and scaffolds that now fills most of the space in the room. He works his way up and down the shaft. Ooh. No, oh, oh, hey, you're yeah. inventing a new sport here. Moreover, by shooting and editing these stunts like they do in Hong Kong, we Wait, can really portray a new kind superhero. No, this is a parenthesis, by the way, guys. Yeah, this is so when you imagine great. these. So this when you like, imagine these the acrobatic moves, now. endow them with a little extra magic. What? Okay. okay. I want to. All right. So wait. What the, is the, <laughs> the media studies PhD in me feels compelled to point out? This is pre Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yes. Oh my so God, Hong Kong yes. action cinema would not really have been like really well known. Okay. Wait. Please in, read the next in wider sentences. American call. All right. I yes. Sorry. Scott <laughs> slash Scott <laughs> slash. <laughs> Script. Wears a special visor that he adjusts his beam flares and narrows. <laughs> Wolverine squats and stretches. He seems relaxed. That's because he's getting ready to take it up the ass. Yeah, there's a butt plug <laughs> involved, I'm sure. Yeah. Jason yeah. slash mastermind. Shadow I'm boxes. Not, That's all it says. I'm, for the remainder of the time that we're streaming this, I'm not I'm not doing that anymore. Shadow boxes. Because oh that's God. what an illusionist does. He punches people. Xavier sits in the elevated Jesus. control booth and addresses the X-Men on intercom. 
Oh wait, I thought shadow box is like he was working in a shadow box, not like he was no. shadow box. No, that's like, <laughs> like, like I, I don't know. Oh my I god. really I really am. Alright, anyway. Uh <laughs> here is like a mime, like he's <laughs> <laughs> an invisible box. <laughs> uh Ryan, do you want to be Professor Xavier now? Sure. <laughs> It's just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I, okay, Xavier has more lines than anyone in this movie, and I'm like my, getting tired of it. My uh, face hurts. Uh, yeah. The X Men. Mine too, actually. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, uh, today's assignment. Sh should I do the British one? I don't know. Whatever. Today's assignment is to get the key and rescue the princess. Wolverine is the gatekeeper. Wrong, he's the princess. A large <laughs> iron key is suspended from the ceiling. 30 feet up. The matching lock is on the far... Why is this Mylon secret castle? Is on the far wall at shoulder height. A piece of paper with the words princess in here is taped to the wall with an arrow pointing oh to the god. lock. What on the Xavier, his lips don't move. Oh my god. Whoever saves the princess will be excused from chores for a week. That's so Xavier. That is <laughs> on brand. Dick. Yeah. Todd, I can read this if, if that helps you. Oh God, please do. I can't do it anymore. Okay, the X-Men react like this is a prize worth fighting for. Is it? <laughs> Countdown begins now. The X-Men get ready for the kickoff, in quotes. Wolverine stands with his back to the goal and makes taunting faces at the others. What do I do? Try to stay alive. Thanks, Jane. Great. The room advice. begins to hum and vibrate from the numerous motors which gear up for operation. They're all oh, time for the guns. guns. Yeah. The lightning becomes more dramatic. Or the lighting, sorry. It's not lightning. Just kidding. Kitty's frightened. A bell lightning rings. would be believable, though. I like, know. We yeah. wish Storm was here. Right? Nobody's actually explained yeah, to Kitty Storm what the fuck is going on. Right? Wait, 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 hold on. But, like, why? Like, Kitty's just, like, been thrown into the school, and they're like, do you want to leave or not? We're going to shoot a bow and arrow at you. And then, like, once you get out, we're going to put you in this other insane scenario and not explain to you what's happening at all. I right? feel like Kitty was the fall and we go shopping. Oh, yeah, yeah. basketball no, shopping no death. That's <laughs> the That's it. Expansion. Um, the Danger Room transforms into a life-sized video slash pinball game. Hatches Bro. open in the walls and floor. Guns and launchers slide out. Spikes, they are. saw blades, and we tons they were of flame erupt randomly from all surfaces. The room attacks. Projectiles are fired at Scott slash Cyclops. Scott's visor opens. Like an expert marksman, he blasts the objects one at a time with short, precise bursts. Gene diverts a rain of darts. They lodge in the walls. Mastermind rolls, tumbles, and dodges the projectiles. Okay, okay sure. Thanks. Kitty hides behind the others, petrified. Kurt heads for the key near the <laughs> ceiling, swinging through the elaborate jungle gym. The room forces him to run an obstacle course. Poles slide out of the wall. He swings from bar to bar, leaps, lands on a tightrope, bounces up, somersaults, grabs the tightrope on his way down, spins around it like a propeller, oh, like a whole the fucking air, floor show here. Sings a song from Cats. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and lands on a tiny platform halfway up to rest. So he's just chilling up there. Six uh, and a half gainer, uh, diving. Like Okay, shout out to Drake who said Xavier's making an escape room. Escape oh my room. god. god damn it. Oh. <laughs> And yeah, Everyone's I agree with Eva, fired. maybe it is good that Storm isn't in this movie. It's for the best. Yeah. Anyway, I think Bobby is, though. Uh, singles out Mastermind with a friendly, sadistic smile and stalks what? him. Mastermind retreats. Jean sees Mastermind in trouble. She detours some of the projectiles aimed at her <clears> so that they go towards Wolverine. He takes evasive action. Scott blasts one of the launchers with his beam. Kitty. An eight-foot automaton rolls out of an alcove and moves toward her. It looks like R2-D2's big brother. Then it's... That is the least late. threatening robot no. ever! No, it's it's an eight-foot trash can! What, what the, the fuck? hell is happening? Anyway, it sprouts blades that start to spin. Kitty backs away from the freezing okay, machine. It follows That's scary. Her. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically a Dalek. Kurt leaps yeah. the top yeah, of the yeah. top yeah. of the of the projectiles. Parts of the scaffolding collapse. He breaks his fall by grabbing a rod with his tail. He has to slip between two slabs that are about to crush him. He darts through at the last instant and his tail whips to safety one nanosecond before it would have been clipped. Why didn't he just bamf away? We haven't even seen him do that yet. No. Nope. Anyway, oh, like what? Whatever. Wolverine corners Mastermind. <laughs> Snicked. His claws split Mastermind's shield into two useless halves. As Wolverine laughs, he suddenly finds himself in a small empty room with white walls. He hears the sounds of the danger room, but he can see nothing. He looks around confused. 
<laughs> Why is he confused? Why are you confused, dumbass? You know how his powers work. Exactly what's going on? Anyway, Kitty keeps retreating from the relentless automaton, which grinds a wooden post to sawdust. Jean sees that Kitty's in a panic. Kitty, phase. I can't. She keeps backing up. Wolverine in the imaginary blank room. He sniffs the air. He listens carefully. He reaches out and pulls Mastermind into the white room. How are they going to do any of this? Mastermind, you're frozen for two minutes. Okay! Time out! Savior have the, the life or death training thing has flag football rules? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I'm anyway. so confused. Boink! boink. <laughs> it says boink. <laughs> Um, the something, something walls, something walls. <laughs> into the danger room. Wolverine smiles and releases Mastermind, who trudges to a corner. A penalty clock starts counting down from two minutes. Uh, the automaton forces Kitty against a wall with a ladder. Kitty climbs what? the ladder backwards and makes it to a ledge just as the vicious blades chew the ladder to sawdust. Kitty stands on the ledge as the automaton buzzes below. Kurt makes it to the ceiling, hangs by one arm, and grabs the key. Instantly, solid iron plates drop around him from above, forming a cage. Kurt bangs on the metal. Here, I've got the key! Scott looks up and blasts a small hole in the cage. Kurt drops the key down to Kitty. She catches it. Oh, my bad. Uh, Kitty, throw it here! <laughs> <laughs> Before she can throw, an encroaching line of gunfire forces her to sidestep along the ledge. Oh, well, that, that okay, Kitty well, there's Xavier's phase. Test. <laughs> Kitty, the key. Kitty, rabbit season. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> in a panic, Duck she throws season. the key to Scott slash Cyclops, but Wolverine bats it up in the air. It looks like he's going to catch it on its way down. The key just hovers in the air and floats over to Jean and plants itself in her hand. At that moment, the floor <laughs> under Jean starts moving. He could have dancing the whole time. Yeah, yeah I it, whatever. It's a rolling belt. <laughs> Jean's legs slide out from under her. She belly flops and the key bounces away. The belt carries her backwards and drops her into a pit with a 12 foot drop. Scott Damn leaves Jesus. the pit and kneels down to rescue Jean. This Wolverine is like, dives for the key. This is so long. I'm sorry, it's just me talking. Anyway, okay, but Kurt's also, like, this is like it. Xavier murders the X Men part 17. Like, I know. let's be real. This is this is, would be a very long. I can take over if you want, Maddie. Um, it's fine. I'll just finish it up. Uh, Kurt runs for the quote princess. Wolverine tackles him. The two of them engage in a martial arts battle. Wolverine's I thought they were just gonna bone versus Kurt's agility, and they may or may not bone during it. Scott yeah, extends that... his hand to Gene, but it doesn't reach. <laughs> Lift it's yourself up. It's a twelve up. foot drop. I yeah. know it is twelve feet. Jean <laughs> tries. She levitates a foot, but it's not enough. Kitty's forced to the end of her ledge by gunfire. Faze, you moron! <laughs> a buzzer sounds, and the gunfire stops at her shoulder. What? How? Kitty, you're out of the game. <laughs> Mastermind I think, looks like, at his penalty it, clock. Yeah, I think Xavier has the power to stop. It's just him. shy of but, hitting her shoulder. He's is what literally it like to me. trying to shoot a 16-year-old with yeah, the machine gun. But he gun. also has the power to just yep. hit a button and be like, beep, boop, okay, the gun's stopped in midair. Like, the bullet stopped, I guess. Right? And she's not yeah. going to die now. I don't know. Oh my god. That's Can we get out of the works. danger room? This scene is like way too yeah, long. Yeah, this is a really long yeah. scene. Oh. Um, Mastermind looks at his penalty clock. We look at how many pages are left in this scene. Just a few seconds ago. <laughs> Jean strains and levitates herself three feet and grabs Scott's hand. I also hand. strain. It may be levitate. <laughs> let's let's yeah. pause for a second. Let's do the math. If she's five feet, so that's eight feet just to the top of her head. Let's yeah. assume that her arm is maybe a half a foot more. So that's eight and a half feet. And then Scott's so, leaning down. So we got three and a half. Scott has to make up three and a half feet. Can he do that? I don't probably. Know. Yeah, probably. Like if he was yeah. on his stomach and like. Yeah, and like also, leaning down. But then how could I'm, they? How could they actually drag her out? I feel like he wouldn't have the ability. Wait, who has his ankle? Who, okay, but Jean exactly. can fly. But she can't in this, Ryan. See how she's not able to. Only three oh, feet. I'm sorry. She's a woman in the nineties. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't have any, <laughs> have any powers. What are you saying? <laughs> E-Rock maybe in chat mentioned I'm trying to imagine this whole scene with early 90s CGI and SFX. Yes, same. Everything looks like an episode of Reboot. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, everybody needs to pay attention to this next sentence. Listen up, okay. folks. Wolverine places his fist under Kurt's chin, arching an eyebrow. What? Kurt politely hands him the key. Looks like I. This get is my room, two hundred eight. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what? Whoa! It's canon now. 
<laughs> Wolverine looks at his hand. The key glows red hot. Wolverine shouts in pain and throws the key in the air. Mastermind snatches it with a smile and holds it comfortably. When you're hot, baby, you're hot. Mastermind runs for the princess. Wolverine, out of position, grabs Scott and holds his claws to his throat. Oh Jesus. God. Mastermind. Mastermind already has the key in the lock when he turns and sees Wolverine holding Scott. I'll cut his throat. <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> be my... Okay, Mastermind, Mastermind <laughs> says, be my guest, but I just imagine Mastermind putting it be like, be my guest. Be, be my, my guest. guest. <laughs> be my guest. Put Scott it didn't exist to my... yet. Uh, whatever. Anyway, Master yes. turns the key, lights flash, music plays, the danger room deactivates. Wait, music plays? What music? Yeah, right, neon lights go off and everything. Jesus. It's great. Be my guest, be my guest. We were mutants in a test. Put your dick into my ass. I think that that was <laughs> See, Todd is better at improvisational lyrics than I am. That's why Todd is here. <laughs> Cut to... Okay. Actually, Todd, why don't you take it from here? <laughs> I don't know that. Uh... Wow, this is super 90s. Interior den, day, right. it's, it's Miller, Miller time. time. It's Miller time. Why does it say it's Miller time? <laughs> and the X-Men and Xavier lounge around with snacks and drinks. Xavier, like a football coach, because those are words that go together, replays mistakes in the danger room exercise. On TV, we see Kurt get trapped in the cage. Xavier freezes the image and points with a laser pointer. Which I just I want to interrupt real quick and read to Kurt? Mr. Sinister saying, is there a plot or is it all this? Which I think yeah. is that really speaks to whatever. Yep. Is. I, think it, I think the sad bit is like if you just took the skeleton of this plot and put the new mutants on it, you basically get that new mutants made I, for TV. Oh my movie. god! You mean Generation X? Yeah, Generation that thing. X, yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. They're all young and tiny. But like, <laughs> if if you're going after like a quote unquote princess or like anything, like it should just be Kurt Bamf Bamf. Yes. Done. yes. But right. he hasn't even yep. bamfed a single time. Am I no, wrong? No, he's just right. super agile. Yeah. I don't know what I don't they're know trying to do dance. with that scene. Maybe maybe he's going to say this. I don't know. Xavier has lines here. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Kurt, you were excellent. But in the future, expect any valuable target to be booby-trapped. On TV, we see Kitty retreat in panic from the automaton, like anybody would. Yeah, <laughs> On wait. the couch, she what? hides her head, embarrassed. Girl, it had a buzz saw yeah, and a gun. Like, Where right? the fuck am I? Is what she's screaming. Kitty, what happened? <laughs> I told you she's not ready. <laughs> what? If I couldn't phase, it would have killed me. It just takes practice. If you work hard, it'll become automatic. Oh, wow. Fuck you, judgmental script. Yeah, Xavier right? cues up Jean's feeble efforts to levitate. Oh, Damn. my God. Fuck off! <laughs> she just fell into a 12-foot hole, you judgmental ass hat. Yeah. <laughs> Gene, you have to increase your psi force. What the fuck is psi <laughs> force? That like a cartoon all of its own. It's your Jedi powers. Yeah, right? That means more time in the weight room. What? Uh, w- weight she's room? Herself. I'm I like the idea that she's not going to lift weights with her mind. She's just going to be super jacked. Yeah, she's yeah like, there's oh, the danger oh, room, yeah. and then there's the, the swole room. Okay. <laughs> and Scott, you left yourself wide open while you tried to rescue Jean. Besides, <laughs> she was sure in no did. particular danger. You should have secured the key first. Yes, yes sir! <laughs> Ow! The climactic <laughs> moment replays. Wolverine threatens to kill Scott, and Jason turns the key. And the winner is Jason, who is excused from chores for a week. Jason, Jason gloats. is the winner? Wait, Jason Mastermind, the one villain in the script, is the winner here. Yep. And Xavier's right? like, good job, villain. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, this he's arc is so obvious. Turn on them all. Right? Yeah, by the end of the oh, movie, he's no going to be like, I'm so much better than you, so I'm just going to be evil. Yep. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Scott is dead. <laughs> End of movie! Jason sees that everyone looks at him with disapproval. It's just a game. It's also a test of loyalty. If it was real, I would have helped him. Everyone seems dubious, which, mm. fair. I would yep. have, believe me! <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> while your oh friends my are god! Being- yeah. While your friends are doing your chores, Jason, you're going to be sweating it out in the danger room with me. What? We're going to practice teamwork. Oh, why? This is gay. I, 
Oh, hey, you, guys. You'll be sucking my dick while they're <laughs> crushing. <laughs> okay, also, shout out to chat, because Tronatai says, go boost your mana, Gene. And totally not Mr. Sinister says, Sinister says your Psy Force is feeble. Go back, go to, back the to the closet. The closet. <laughs> <laughs> Jason scowls and sulks because he's tired of sucking Xavier's dick. Yeah. <laughs> Like how what? is that? How is that a winning situation? It's like what? one, you, what? Get a, you get a hot, sexy workout with me. Xavier. What even is this scene transition? Interior Porsche dealership. Not even kidding. Day in the foreground, a red Porsche convertible. In the background, Jason speaks to two salesmen. Jason wears sunglasses and a fancy Italian suit. Why? Salesman one finishes counting a stack of a hundred dollar bills. He Why are we piles on the that stack. Cobra Kai? What's I that? don't know. Oh. Is it like an illusion of hundred dollar bills? Maybe. Well, probably. Probably. I think that's what we're about to find out. Okay, I'll be salesman one. I don't care. It's all there. You double checked. Yeah, don't worry about us. I just don't want there to be any misunderstandings later on. Uh, sure. <laughs> thanks for being so concerned. <laughs> Which is not at all suspicious. Yeah, like, I like yeah. how he says that. Right? Yeah, he's like, uh, well, when the money disappears two seconds from now, <laughs> I don't want you to be mad, which you will be. <laughs> which you will be. Bye. Salesman you know, 2 hands Jason the keys. Right to you, I'm I, Salesman 2. <laughs> sure, sure. Your keys, your receipt, and your change. <laughs> he drops some coins into, Wow. Wow. He drops some coins into Jason's hand because I guess, like, he What's gave him $100,000 oh, like and 76 cash. cents. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, there was yeah. tax. Drive safely. Jason walks out. We stay with the salesman. Little putz. I hope he breaks his neck. They Same. watch him get in the car and drive away. Salesman, too, picks up the money. Where do you think he gets it? Who cares? Salesman 2 glances at the cash and does a double take. Close on money. The stacks of $100 bills are now stacks of $1 bills. Fuck. Uh, he got us again every week at this <laughs> Every shit. time. <laughs> he even like preemptive it. He like gets all. He gets he's like, you counted like, it. You yeah. counted it. He's, you he's, know like, what, he's like, you counted it, right? Because, I mean, this looks like a bunch of ones to me, but okay. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine so. that is him, like, rubbing it in, though, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, totally. you counted it, bro. You didn't see it. It's not my fault. <laughs> Interior, Jean's room, day. Jean is getting dressed. Kitty is stretched out on her bed reading L. Okay. Sure. So, Listening to me. Real brands. <laughs> wait, wait, there's like on. Porsche and like Miller and like. And Elmer. also, oh, wait, wait back up to the scene where Kitty and Jean like are in their bed and Jean's bed together and Jean's getting dressed. He's watching her get Look dressed. Mm. Their last scene together, not counting the danger room. Nothing wrong with that. Baby. Was closed together in the closet. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ooh. now they're boning. This yep. is gay. I'm just not sure I fit in. Give it a chance. My first week, I thought I joined the circus. You did. You did. <laughs> Why do you stay here? I mean, you don't have to. I'll tell you the truth. When I went away to college, I was never coming back. But if you want to fit in, you have to hide who you are. You have to lie to hide your in friends. The closet. You can't talk about the most important thing in your life. Jean, oh wow! Jean zips up the back of her dress telekinetically. Hello. Out there, I was just a pretty girl. I'm so what? hot. I'm like really fucking hot. But here, I can be myself, which is gay, and nobody cares. Hey! <laughs> the phone rings. Jean floats it to her hand. Hello. Where are you? What car? <laughs> he steps to the window and looks out. Her jaw drops. You gotta see this. Kitty runs to the window. Jason drives up to the mansion in his new Porsche convertible, talking yep. on the car phone. <laughs> oh, oh, 90s. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Remember those things? Yeah. Oh, my God. Where did you get that? Oh, my God. He stops under Gene's window and hangs up the phone. Anybody want to go for a ride? I do. I do. <laughs> Anybody else that's not this bitch? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, that would be really and funny. It that and it all becomes clear. It all becomes clear. He does say that. <laughs> Jason is gay. I mean, everybody <laughs> in this movie. Right? Uh, cut to exterior country road. Get day. Wow. 
The wind blows. <laughs> yeah, the wind blows in Jean's hair. As she and Jason speed down a scenic winding road in his Porsche, Jason drives like a madman. He turns onto a oh, tiny so he side did leave street. Her behind. Yep. Well, Exterior, make out point. Was- Day. Yep. <laughs> Jason's Porsche arrives at a high cliff above a crashing Pacific Sea in. Ne- sure. Wait, Jason. Jean oh, yeah, is on, the Atlantic seascape, not a yeah, Pacific seascape. Yeah, thanks, writer. Right. Oh, but my okay. God. Yeah, why? It wouldn't even be an Atlantic seascape. You would have to go into New England for that. Where are we? This sure isn't Kansas. I mean, that's Uh, my line, but thank you for saying it, Tom. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) It's all bleeding together, man. Sorry. Uh, It's something I dreamed up. The lighting changes, and the sun is now setting over the ocean. Oh, is Paris more romantic? Oh, now it makes sense. Yeah, now I get it. I've never been to Paris. Suddenly, they are parked in front of the Eiffel Tower, and Jason is now wearing a beret. Yeah. Gene, Gene laughs, because why wouldn't you? Jason leans over to kiss her. She turns away. He kisses her neck. Um, Jason, don't. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. And again, we're going to avoid the love triangle between Cyclops, Logan, and Gene all of a sudden, because Gene, again, right. okay, again, this is like X-Men Evolution, where Wolverine's randomly, like, 20 years older than her. Oh, yeah, yep. Uh, yeah. You're a really nice guy. Oh, boy. He persists. Jason. Jason! He opens the door and bolts out of the car. They're suddenly parked next to some dumpsters behind a supermarket. He's wearing blue jeans, not a fancy Italian suit. What is your problem? I can give you anything you want. All Scott can do is blow shit up. But he doesn't. Man, that's so hot. (laughs) Jason hides shame with anger. Ugh. We better get back. The professor's calling. We're in the pre- oh. oh, that cut wow. off for me. So all I heard was you getting so angry that you couldn't even finish the sentence. I heard, screw the pre- I saw God so angry that he bleeped himself out of the Yeah, screen. Ryan just got, like, logged <laughs> off. But now he's back, maybe? Ryan, are you back? Yeah, he's back. <laughs> I'm here. This happened. I don't know. Ryan did so hard, he place. exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, I, what was my thing? Screw the professor! <laughs> right, yeah. That was a good line for you to end on, honestly. It was, right? it was kind of dramatic. He starts the engine, she drops into her seat, and he peels away before she can even get her other foot in the car. At, which, Why for the record, that's... In the car? Okay, that's happened to me, and I got dragged after a car on gravel. It fucking hurt. As they drive away, a disgusting vagrant steps what? out from the dumpster, flips Gene off, and waggles his tongue obscenely. Oh my god. See, dude, this Gene the script is like so rapey horny oh, in a it's way about that's to get, awful. It's about to get worse. Jean is appalled, then she sees Jason smirk to himself. You're not funny. So wait, was that an illusion of okay, so a rapey yeah, man yeah. sexually threatening yeah, no. Jean? Yeah, that's what yeah. Jason just did. Okay. What the fuck? What? Oh, Maddie is, like oh. hates this script more than all of us. Like, we all hate no. it. Not <laughs> bad, man. Not all of us. Yo, yeah, shouldn't Jean be... I think we have a geneless scene, so you should take over. All right, I will. Okay. Okay, X-Mansion Dusk. The Porsche races down the drive and screeches to a stop in front of the X-Men, who all wait near the van, dressed for some occasion. They exchange glances in reaction to Jason's roadster, a word people say, and the obvious (sighs) anger between him and Gene. Nice wheels, Jason. What is it really, a Hyundai? (laughs) You want to borrow it at some time? Maybe you could get laid. It hasn't exactly helped you. Read him, girl! Yep. Wolverine steps between them. Get in the van! (laughs) Oh, shit, sorry. Get in the van. We'll be right out. Why? What? Continue your line. Wolverine? Oh, who? Oh. (laughs) Oh, the, the professor wants to see you. Sorry. I'm scared. I think he's not supposed to be saying it seriously. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be sarcastic there. It doesn't stipulate, yeah. but yeah. Cut I don't to. think Jason said anything seriously the entire movie so far. Yeah. Xavier's library day. Jason stands before Xavier and Wolverine. Look, if you think I've committed a crime, call the cops. We police ourselves. What? I mean, they still hate the cops, I guess. Oh. That's the only truth of the X-Men mm-hmm. thing that is in here. Right. right? Uh, Xavier. Jason, what you've done isn't just <laughs> wrong. It puts everything we've worked for in jeopardy. What if people found out about us? We're not ready to risk exposure. 
Oh, now you're laying a guilt trip on me? This is kind of Xavier, though. Xavier yeah. and Wolverine look at each other in frustration. We're going to be late. To what? If we get we out of the closet, it'll hurt my stock portfolio. Yeah, really, though. <laughs> Interior X fan on the road. Night. Now suddenly it's night? Wasn't it day a second ago? It I was. Don't know. I, this is I don't know. Of time rules. We're going to be late for night time. Xavier and the X Men are packed into a van. Jason sulks. Scott drives. I hope the speech is good because we're missing The Simpsons. 1991. <laughs> I said the VCR. It'll be a good speech. Thomas Prince is a brilliant orator. But you disagree with everything he says. Then why is he dragging us to see him? His ideas are dangerous, and he's very—he's a very ambitious man. What is all this shit that's happening? Well, you douche nugget. I yeah, mean, I guess right. it's like Senator <laughs> Kelly, but not. Anyway, yeah. exterior right. suburban concert hall night. The x band pulls into the outdoor parking lot surrounding the small auditorium. The marquee announces Thomas Prince, and in smaller letters, the Citizen Crusade. Cut to exterior parking lot night. The X-Men roll Xavier through the parking lot so what is this, the like, concert the hall. The Friends of Humanity, basically? Basically. I don't know why Pretty they much. felt like they couldn't just use that, but anyway. Kurt is okay. covered up with a high-collar hat and sunglasses. That wouldn't be enough, but okay. They are Kurt is a the guy who's Carmen Sandiego. <laughs> wow, this next part. Okay. Uh, this is the script, not me. Um, they are among a surprisingly wow. diverse group. Your oh, Aryan man. racist core membership wow. in their American cars, yuppies and Volvos and Acuras, some intellectuals, some hardworking Asians, even some middle class blacks. In oh. short, oh. anybody who thinks they're better than the others. Oh. Wow. The different types wow. eye each other apprehensively. <laughs> I can't even deal. Wow. This Dude. is this wow. script. This script. This got, it's got politics. You know what I mean? It's yeah, got, yeah, yeah. It's got 1991 uh, right there for you. Okay. Right. Is, you. is very angry. I'm like insulted. <laughs> what? Yeah. Remember, we're just here to observe. Right, Logan? Hey, I never said anything. Oh, sorry, I never start anything. <laughs> That's oh, also wow. not right. true. You, you did <laughs> such a good job there. Definitely I didn't true. realize it was two people talking, and I thought it was two different people reading those lines. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> the I will Motor totally be this asshole, by the way. Uh, Wait, what? Great. Thank you, Todd. The Prince Motorcade pushes through the crowd next to the X-Men. His limousine is protected front and back by truckloads of uniformed neo-Nazi citizens from Prince's Dude. Crusade. Well, I guess they're just literally neo-Nazis. Wow. That tracks. They wear heavy boots and carry clubs. Little on the nose, but all right. What? Into mm -hmm. your limo wow. night. Thomas Trump Prince rally. sits in the back. He's better looking, more commanding, and more charismatic than JFK. Wow. <laughs> so specific. Okay. Yeah. Sitting next to him is his chief of security, uh, Condoleezza Rice stand-in, uh, an elegant and statuesque African American woman named Atalanta. Okay, wait. So all is... I can see in my head is Grace Jones from You Only Live Twice. That's what mm -hmm. I'm seeing, also. Yeah. Or that's... Grace Jones Ooh. in the James Bond movie. <clears throat> yep, that's who they're hoping to cast, but they won't get her. Prince looks okay. through his window and sees a group of nonviolent protesters who carry signs denouncing Thomas Prince and his ideas. Never again. No more genocide. The meek shall inherit the earth. There's room for everyone. Peace on earth. How, what sort of voice is this chat going to have? This is good. It means they take us seriously. <laughs> Three angry protesters press their Whoa. signs close to his Bruh. tinted window. I don't know how Nazis talk! <laughs> I think we should still respond. Like, I can't do German. Kurt is already German. Yeah, okay. I think we should respond. Uh, I guess Atalanta is the one who grins and picks up a walkie-talkie. I'll just be her, because I don't think she's going to get to talk that much. Code uh, 4, that's actually snap, not crackle, true. pop. Really? Oh, wow. She's in this whole script for some reason. This is a character who was invented for this, no? Yeah, they invented also, like 20 characters for this. Also, it's just Grace Jones. Wow. I can't seriously, why would you... Uh... I can't <laughs> believe we're only on page 24. Anyway. Yep. Um, well, <laughs> exterior 34, I am. The motorcade stops. Atalanta steps out of the limo. 50 citizens pile out of the trucks. They surround and intimidate the protesters. The X-Men watch the confrontation unfold. Atalanta shoves a big protester. The protester takes the bait and throws a punch. Atalanta grabs his fist and breaks his arm. Is she a mutant? What the hell? Damn. Well, like, the goons seems like the clubs in unison and viciously beat the protesters. Bones snap, teeth are bashed, skulls are dented. Atalanta does Ooh. some vicious bone crunching with her bare hands. So get, like at the end of the script, they'll be like, by the way, this was Storm Undercover. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> I, Interior I, limo. Too. 
Prince enjoys watching. Okay. Exterior parking lot. Almost (laughs) instinctively, Wolverine and Kurt rush into the fray, pulling citizens away from their victims. For Wolverine, fighting regular people is child's play. Jean sees a citizen beating a fallen woman. She floats a pen out of his shirt pocket and pokes him in the eye. Ow! Wow! Glasses and lasers the clubs from several attackers with short bursts. Interior limo. Prince's eyes widen as he sees Jean and Scott display their powers. He gets a good look at Kurt. Exterior parking lot. Kurt dodges punches and cleverly thwarts goons, much like Charlie Champ- Chaplin and Harpo Marx used to frustrate their big enemies. How does this scene I feel even like Kurt start? is like the only fun character in this entire movie, and I'm yeah. fine Wait. with it, but anyway. Wolverine bashes a few citizens with a peace on earth picket sign. Then he comes up behind a tall citizen who's beating a protester. There's so much happening in this I scene know. that I cannot follow. What's yeah, going on. The, dangerous, the danger room scene was better written than whatever this shit is. It's a fight scene. That's all you need. Basically, to know. the neo Nazis yep. manufacture some violence courtesy of the giant black lady, and the X Men <laughs> fight back, and the neo Nazi Chad is like, oh, they're mutants. Apparently, Atalanta is from the comics, according to Drake, who says that she was created by Peter David and Dale Cowan in 1990 and first appeared in The Incredible Hulk number 376. So, oh, wow. Today I oh. learned an obscure it's Marvel. Yeah, now character. I'm Googling her. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. So, anyway, Wolverine has a line real quick if you yes. want to say it. Hey, Bob, now it's your turn. He pulls the oh. citizen away and is surprised to see that it's a woman, Atalanta. He hesitates. Why? He would not do that. She bashes no, him not. in the face, karate no. style, and follows well, that up. Well, that's because he's getting all all turned on. He's like, oh, no. Hot <laughs> villain woman. Can't control. It's probably one of my ex. I don't know. My memory. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> he has no choice but to slug her in the gut. To his what? utter amazement, this broad keeps on coming, trades punches, blocks some of his best shots, and gives as good as she gets. Interior limo, Prince watches, intrigued. Exterior parking lot, the police finally arrive and separate the fighters, including Wolverine and Atalanta, who fiercely glare at each other, daring the other to go on. The person, break it up! Break, break it, it up! up break up. it up! I like, I like, I like whoever, <laughs> who did that, that All of us old... were police. Okay. Shut up with shutting them ups. As Wolverine reluctantly backs away, he and Atalanta exchange a smoking look that promises Ooh. a rematch. Okay, Logan. Wolverine okay. Joins like, here, who also stares at feel- Atalanta with interest. Gross. What is happening now? Well, it's because he was, he, Logan's like, there's no saber tooth here, so this is the best time. I feel like right Sun Wong now all day fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This whole scene is crazy, by the way. You want it to say is. your line? I didn't start it. Who did? I, I don't know. Interior limo. As Prince's limo glides by, he gets a good look at Xavier. Sensing him, Xavier turns and looks directly at Prince. Cut to oh. interior theater night. Todd's speech. The theater and stage have been set up in a modern version of a Nazi rally of the 1930s because this movie is extremely on the nose. Bro. Citizens Ow. in uniform uh. stand guard. Inner circle citizens sit in hieratic Tears. Okay, so the, wait, this is Wouldn't the Friends of Humanity. Wouldn't it be hierarchical tiers? Yeah. yeah, it would be hierarchical. Yeah, it would. All right. So this, this is the Friends of Humanity with a different name, basically. It is. It is. But also, like, do people know mutants exist? Is this explicitly an anti mutant I don't even rally? know. I guess we're about to find out. There's like a Citizen Kane reference. From Hail right. Hydra! Prince speaks at a podium. <laughs> he is dwarfed by a 50-foot-tall live video image of himself, which is displayed on a screen behind him. This is Citizen from X-Men the Animated Series. This happened yep. in this show yep. with the Friends yep. of Humanity yep. when they captured yep. Jubilee. Yep. Okay. His deep, resonant, bro voice echoes throughout the hall. Oh, that's a that's a check my voice can't cash. <laughs> Five billion people inhabit our little planet, but 12% of us produce 95% of the world's goods. <laughs> what? what? Fucking what? John Galt shit is this? No, and no. what, my friends, do the others produce? Just one? Oh, wow. Dude. Sorry, I just got hit in the face by 90s racism, like, immediately. Oh, yeah. Just one thing. Hungry children. Uh, Who'll produce more uh, hungry children? Who'll produce more hungry children? Like wow. Like so, like, racist Catan board yeah. game? Yeah, I mean, just he, Google. He just seems normal racist. Yeah. It doesn't seem like mutants have anything to do with it so far, but here we go. Yeah, but yeah. for you for you kids who are very, very young, just Google the term welfare queen and prepare to be... Yep. Ah. Depressed? Yeah, yeah. depressed by a a ton of Reagan and Bush era racism. Uh, Um, So anyway, his followers listen, enthralled. Then Prince sees Xavier and the X-Men. For the rest of his speech, it seems that Prince is focusing on them, singling them out. Of course, all men are brothers. 
<laughs> but are we Catholic. obligated to feed and clothe them? Should we give them our homes and our jobs? I'm getting gayer with every line. Should we, <laughs> should we work twice as hard so they don't have to work at all? The crowd wow. moves in agreement. Prince lowers his voice. It doesn't seem quite fair, does it? I think the best way to help the weak is to say, Brother, I will not carry your burden any further. The kindest thing we can do for all humanity may be to turn away. Wow, because great. citizens... So, like, nothing has changed since 1994. <laughs> not <laughs> exactly. a little bit. Uh, because, citizens, the strong will always survive. This is natural. This right. This is... This, 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 this is... Right. This, right. this is the... <laughs> You in your chest, baby! You got a right. time! This is the law of the jungle. <laughs> he says this is the law of the jungle. I, That's anyway, actually the what he audience said. Burst I, I said it! Cheering and applause. Cut to interior auditorium night. The X-Men are proceeding towards an exit along with the crowd. It's scary. They love him. Sure. He tells them they're great. Atalanta was... and four armed citizens march into their path and block the way. She and Wolverine glower at each other. Then she addresses Xavier. Um, I guess I'll keep being her. Whatever. I'll, I'll take over narration. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Prince would like to invite you to his dressing room. All of you. Xavier assesses the impl implied. I... That's just text. That's not that, subtext, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, yeah. right. He looks at his watch. I think we have a minute. Why is he going to lie? <laughs> you can't, oh you can't be, bitch. I actually like that. Cut to interior. Prince's dressing room night. Coat off, tie loosened. Prince washes his face at the sink. Atalanta enters. Tom, they're here. <laughs> oh, fuck. I penned myself in. Show them in. <laughs> Prince... <laughs> Dude, wait, somebody wait, has to I'll, take over okay, the narration. Okay, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I, no, I got it because it's... <laughs> You it, need to be in Atlanta. Yeah. I don't think she Prince, has any more lines for a bit, but go ahead, Ryan. All right, sure. Okay. Uh, Prince dries his face and hands, sets down the towel. The X-Men enter. Come in, come in. Have a seat. Elon Musk. Thomas Prince. <laughs> Xavier <laughs> shakes his hand prefunctorily. 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 He doesn't mean it. That's basically okay, what it means. You. I just sure. pronounced that wrong. Thank you. What do you want, Mr. Prince? Prince signals the citizens and they leave. I couldn't help noticing you and your friends outside. I felt a certain kinship. Oh. And I wanted to meet you. Wait, is he like weird Magneto? Is that what I we're doing? I don't know what's like, happening. I see okay, you you can't area. make weird Magneto a Nazi. That's that. just... Yeah, it do doesn't that. work. No. No. He's do actual that. Magneto. He is probably Kevin Bacon. I can't believe that's a thing that just came out of my mouth. <laughs> well, Sebastian Shaw also knows yes, Kevin that Bacon. Guy. Sebastian, yes. Uh, he waits for the door to close. After all, there aren't very many of us. Prince and then he turns into Apocalypse and eats somebody. <laughs> I'm like already really mad that they have a mutant in here who's a Nazi, though. Like, what the fuck yeah, is this? What, yeah. This is awful. And it's very obvious why this movie did. Like, they pitched it. They were like, no, we're not making There's this no film. Way. Said, Absolutely we're coming back not. with something else. Uh, Prince looks them in the eye and makes sure his veiled meaning does not elude them. Atlanta, meet Professor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> coming through his phone it's xavier charles xavier it literally says as if remembering like why <laughs> xavier is i can't snap my by... fingers or i'd have done that sorry <laughs> xavier is unsettled by prince's unexpected knowledge adelance is also gay <laughs> <laughs> adelance breaks <laughs> Atalanta breaks into a sly and wicked grin. That's right. And I see a certain resemblance in you. Nobody smiles oh. back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. Look, don't get hung up on my speeches. They're just the means to an end. And what end is that? Genocide? Yeah, probably. <laughs> a world where the most gifted are in charge. Jason is fascinated. I guess ah, here we go. I forgot that I was here. Okay. <laughs> right. That the old pyro no from the movie. Yeah, this is like pyro. <laughs> it is pyro. Whatever. It's dumb. true. He's we a are level. The best. He's a level four mutant. My supporters think that means them, but you're more the type of person I've been trying to reach. Oh. Only we're not interested in being in charge. Let's go. Xavier turns his wheelchair around really fucking fast, and the X Men stand up. We should be working together, Xavier. 
Xavier looks back. You won't succeed. Prince and Xavier stare at each other for <laughs> in a frightening for ten minutes. They stare into each other's eyes longingly. Yeah, oh. he's just mag- he's Magneto the Nazi. I don't know. I hate uh, Xa- this. Xavier turns and leaves. The X Men follow him into the corridor. Oh, I have a line. My offer stands. There's a place in my ass for all of you. <laughs> Jason glances back for a second, and Prince catches his gaze. Jason tears himself away. Yay! Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta <laughs> prepares to close the door, but something catches her attention in the hallway. She looks into his shadow, and it finds a sweet, handsome, innocent 12-year-old Nazi youth backed into a corner. She pulls him into Prince's dressing room. What is, what is happening? Bro, just say the quiet part out loud. Just say it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Look what I found listening at your door. Atalanta firmly holds the trembling boy. Nazi youth says, He wasn't listening, Mr. Prince. Honest. I think you're the best. My whole family does. And uh, I just want to tell you that uh, we, the whites, agree with you in every way. <laughs> Prince what? steps closer. Oh wow! Sorry, I was reading to the end of the screen. Wow! Wow! Do you agree that the less productive people should be exterminated? Yes, sir. The inferior people. Prince cradles the boy's head in his hands and smiles. This is what the fuck? <laughs> you are the inferior people, bitch. He literally says, "You are the inferior people," and he breaks the kid's his neck. neck. What is happening? I don't know why this movie wasn't made. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is so good. Right? It's so edgy. It's rated really PG, sweet. everyone. This Wait, it's is PG? What? No, I'm just saying it's... Well, it had to at least be PG-13. Like, they okay, weren't going to make it rated R. Okay, right? but like going... Okay, but going by the way that they assign ratings so far... Yeah. This could have gotten a PG. It because there's gotten, they haven't yeah. they've only said shit once and like that's one of the things where they literally have like to naked for teenage it. girls are okay apparently. Well, well maybe they weren't gonna not, show it. Yeah. Yeah. Well it's implied. Yeah, it's okay. just implied nudity, so, implied. Anyway, nudity. moving past this yeah. horrible scene. Interior X Van Knight, driving home in the silence of dread, uncommon headlights. Scott tries to be encouraging. Scott, oh, at least now we know he <laughs> exists. At least now we know he exists. <laughs> but we don't know what he can do. Sensing Xavier's concern, the X Men are not reassured. Well, no shit. Interior locker room, danger room, day. I the can X-Men do this, are... Rye, because you got to be okay. listen. The oh, X Men right. are putting on their workout uniforms. The girls and boys are separated by a screen just to make sure that they all stay gay. Okay. I... I love I the idea that you could see Jean's like Little Mermaid silhouette where she's like yeah, whipping yeah, her head yeah, back. She's like throwing back her hair. <laughs> yeah. and, Scott, right? and Scott and Jason are both staring at and Wolverine. All right, anyway, so, <laughs> you know, I think we ought to reconsider what Prince was saying last night. How about joining the Citizens Crusade? About the law of the jungle, bitch. <laughs> the law of the jungle <laughs> says the- I could eat you for dinner. I'm sure he would eat him. <laughs> Everybody uh, laughs except Jason. Except Jason. <laughs> Come on, Prince is no dummy. He made him what? Whoa! He made a fortune in the metal business. It is Magneto. I'm so mad. It's- Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh, what does that prove? The X Men drift into the danger room. Ryan, as they I'm doing up. it. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> the X Men drift into the danger room as they finish suiting up. Back to you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. If somebody's got a pretty face, they become a model and cash in, right? If somebody's an athlete, they play ball and get rich. We get the idea. So this is insane. We're better than the people out there, but instead of living like canes, we sit here hiding like there's something wrong with us. Jason points at Kurt. You fuzzy, if you had money, you'd be you'd have babes crawling all over your hairy carcass, and they wouldn't care if you're blue, red, striped, and polka dot. Or polka dot. Yeah, says the cis white dude. Yeah, really. Yeah. Ass hat. Jason, <laughs> do you have enough to eat? Do you have a ni- do you have a nice place to stay? Do you have friends you could depend on? Jason smirks dubiously. We might think you're a dickhead, but we're still your friends. 90s. So be grateful and pray to God. <laughs> oh, that's dummy. I'm talking like a normal logical person. I don't want to be a saint. <laughs> There's not much chance of that, Jason. They all look up at Xavier who sits in the control booth and watches watch the entire conversation. He's just listening. Why is, why why is Xavier? Xavier's just like watching all this. Everyone are in the X Men are times. changing and they're naked, and he can see both sides of the screen. And he's like, "Yep, 
I Shout am out. just doing this for research right now. Like, Shout out to Drake cool. in the chat. Who said Jason clearly just read Atlas Shrugged yesterday? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reading a little Ayn Rand. Yes. I like Interior. how Xavier. Oh, sorry. No, no. I, was, I like how Xavier's like, he's right, you're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> He'll notice he didn't contradict him. It's just like, yeah, you are kind of a dick. Let's go back to like grocery shopping scene. Right? Right. Interior cool. Jean's studio. She has a studio. Also, where did Kitty go? Is she not in the movie anymore? <laughs> this movie has I feel bad for poor Katie. Katie. It works because my headphones died, but yeah. Uh. <laughs> Gene leads Scott to a. Oh no! All right, what? sorry. Gene leads. It's a stu- like an art studio, not like a no bedroom okay, apartment. Gene okay. leads studio to a pedestal. Right? Like the end, she just got a pedestal in her apartment for some fucking reason. I don't know what's happening. Gene leads Scott she to made a pedestal. A of him. That's what's with happening. his portrait bust. Yes, it's covered with cheesecloth. She's nervous about exposing her tit. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything, okay? Give it a chance. I'm sure I'll love it. It still needs to be fired. The script needs to be so fired. Does <laughs> we hope <laughs> Kitty left like this she said she going. would in chat. Uh, <laughs> we hope we hold on her face as she pulls off the shroud. He doesn't say anything. His face is stiff. You don't like it. The bust. Scott is portrayed without his sunglasses. His eyes are open. His expression is relaxed and blissful, as if looking at a loved one. It's a far cry from that. Far, I don't it's know why I turned. Cry. It's, it's a, a far, far cry. cry. Which keep going? Oh, back to scene. I, wait, I like we left the scene. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I guess yeah, we so. left the scene. No, we had the most awkward focus in the world on the bus. It's all I'm going to just throw it out there. The Dark Crystal script was better than this one. (laughs) It actually was. I don't know. Well, actually, yeah. It's pretty close. There wasn't any racism in that. Okay. Oh, Katie's gone. Nope, sorry. Okay. I messed it up. There we go. Okay, Scott. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's, I don't want you to be so unhappy. He glares at her coldly. Wolverine's like doing it. a narration now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he glares, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like me the way I am? Too bad. Learn to live with it. I have. <laughs> he turns and emos out of the studio. <laughs> Scott, damn it, wait. This scene is <laughs> bad. It's still going. What? Oh, wow. No, they I are. They're tracking it. the convo. Of course they are. Wow. Interior den. The other X-Men look, oh, God. The other X-Men look over as the door slams open and Scott storms off. Gene runs after him. Scott. He doesn't turn around. She stands in the doorway, devastated. She sees the others looking at her. Jason stands to console, air quotes, console her. Mm -hmm. Gene? She signals him not to approach. Bitch, don't. Don't. It's nothing. She breaks into tears. (laughs) It's nothing shortly before she starts ugly crying and runs out of the room. Okay. She breaks into tears and runs upstairs. Hold on, Jason. Uh, like as he like looks evilly. I don't know. He doesn't what. even say. Anyway, Maybe I think it's just, like, where, it like I think we're supposed to think this is Jason going. Mm, this is my opportunity. Mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah, he's like. Mm. But the, it gets really close. Like the pan, it's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you watch your ass go up the stairs, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, um, I can read the uh, narration. Okie dokie. Exterior Smoky. grounds, night. We find Scott kneeling on the ground, staring up at the stars with his glasses off and his fists clenched. <laughs> a red beam needles deep into space. <laughs> and he's, he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> he's just shooting at planes going by. Uh, Scott rolls are out onto the veranda and watches, oh, sharing his pain. Scott, don't do this. <laughs> Scott's Scott face now. is contorted with effort. I, I have, have to control, control it. it. Which of you is going to be Scott? I don't know. <laughs> One of Scott, you has, has to do it. Scott has no more lines now, so it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Scott struggles for a few more seconds, then sags, exhausted, closing his eyes and shutting off the beam. Come here, son. Son? Get Scott gets up and slumps <laughs> into a chair next to Xavier. 
God. Oh no. Oh, this, oh, no, this is bad. Oh, oh my god. Like. 90s script Y. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. For years I tried to walk. My oh, mind no. was so powerful. It seemed like a pretty simple thing. Just regenerate a few nerves in the spine. Every day I spent hours. That's all I thought about. What a beautiful life I could have. If only Xavier, Xavier recalls, recalls his great sorrow. His great sorrow. After I gave up, that's when I started the school. And you know what I think about now? Scott looks at him. What oh, a yikes. beautiful life I have. Now that I control everyone in it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. But what if I hurt her? I couldn't live through that pain. You're already hurt. And yourself. Okay. Uh, two. Oh, wait. We gonna... Sure. When are we stopping? Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go soon. I gotta go dinner. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Ten percent of the battery left. How about this? How about this? this? We oh do no, this, this next scene, scene is. Oh, yeah, it's long really though. Long. It's like three pages long. Okay. Well, we can we can end it here. Um, okay. What page are we on? We're a third of the way through. We are on forty-four. Okay, that's forty-four. Forty-four. Everyone, remember, we are on page forty-four. Well, okay. I don't. When I open this PDF again, it'll be on the page I left it at. So it will not be for me because I'm doing it in nope. Gmail. I would like Same. to thank everybody who tuned in. This script was <laughs> so much worse than I thought it was going wow. to be. <laughs> and I can you believe there were multiple scripts after this before they even landed one for X Men 2000? I can't believe they ever did anything after this. Yeah, <laughs> this right? Yeah. I feel like I can't believe the script wasn't just, just like, like you know what? Any one of these bad. pitches comes in, burn it. <laughs> Like, Set that Jason? shit on fire. Why is Jason right? here? Right? All Where right. did Kitty go? After we, like, they tried to rape Kitty, they're like, yeah, okay, well, let's just gone. cover the box. No, yeah, like, Kitty totally, finally I, figured out how to phase out of the mansion. She, and she I think totally that Mr. Sinister had it right. She's just like, she finally said she was going to leave, and she just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, bitch, Honestly, bye. Right on. <laughs> right on. All oh right, so God. um, thank you so much to everybody who supported the Patreon. Do we want to, like, do a quick shout yeah, out to our highest yeah, tier yeah. Patreon supporters before we uh, wrap it up? Well, uh, let's tell. Let's before we do that, everybody tell us where we can find you. While I pull yes. up the Patreon. Righty, you go. Tell us where well, people can find you on the internet. Like, plug me, plug yeah. myself. Okay, I'll wait. Plug that's, yourself. Oh, never mind. Plug um, me. Yeah. Plug you. Twitter dot com forward slash. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. at s blade. <laughs> you can put your name it. in the in the chat as well. If yeah, you want. sure. Um, Katie, what what's your Twitter handle? I don't have Twitter, but I'm on Instagram at JennyWolf09. Cool. Todd, how about you? Um, it depends on what you want to hear. If you <laughs> want to hear me need to be nice to people, that's at Dr. Todd Harper. If you don't care if I'm nice to people, that's at Arcanist Fox. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I would recommend that second one, if you please. That's the snarky That's where the, That's where the yeah. dick jokes are. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're the that's perfect stuff. Too. That's um, the good stuff. Uh, I'm at Mitty Myers. Ryan's at Ryan Pagella or Ryan Dot Pagella, depending on where depending you are. Depending where you go. And all of us are at the Mutant Ages. Ooh. And Ryan, who are our top tier Patreon supporters? Our top tier Patreon supporters at the $25 tier are Samuel B, Soren B, and Zach S. You get a shout out every single time we make Ooh. pretty much anything. Yeah. Also, if you want to support us for this tonight, you can support us on patreon.com at patreon.com slash the beaten ages. So we can pay everybody who's here and also continue making more of these because we will be back in October yes. at some point. To re to do another live stream we where will we read continue the, the second part of this terrible no this <laughs> this great script that is not racist or sexist at all. Nope. You know what? Do you know what we? Are, you know, okay. I'm not a host of this show, so I can do this. Do you know what I really want fans to do? Write page seventeen. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, right. I want to know what we go from the basketball seven, court eight. to the green piano. I want to know what happens on page yeah. fucking 17. From basketball to pianos. Yeah, how do you get there? How do you get there? So how email that to there? the mutantages at gmail.com. Let us know what you think happens. And uh, with that, we will see you next time. Bye, see everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Mini Buyers. Wow. Oh. We did it. <laughs>